to your majesty let me reintroduce myself because it appears that um you did not get me properly the first time oh yes i did not and that is because i was carried away admiring your beautiful endowments your majesty <laughs> thank you i am miss chinazo branch manager for Mel's investment bank a branch manager at your age <laughs> That is quite impressive, I tell you. Uh, you have done well for yourself, my darling. This is, it's, it's beautiful to know. Uh, your beauty and brains. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> I am actually from Okwe Kingdom. Hmm? You're from Okwe? Yes, Your Majesty. I'm a daughter of the soul. I just came to uh, pay Your Majesty a courtesy visit. The Eze Okwe of Okwe Kingdom. You're a bank manager. You are beautiful. You are a daughter of the soil. Only you. Ha! This has got to be a beautiful day in Okwe. Ah, you're welcome to the palace. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, if you'll allow me, I would be happy to, you know, show you around the palace. You know, make you feel at home. Uh, your Majesty, you were so kind with your words. Thank you so much. But, but you uh, see, the offer, the offer is coming from my heart. I am going to personally show you around the palace if you say yes. Your Majesty, that will not be necessary. Do not worry yourself, Your Majesty. Hi. Can you just keep talking? <laughs> you are so beautiful. Look at your lips. Look at your set of teeth. Uh, who does your makeup for you? You're beautiful. <laughs> you know what they say. You know that beautiful women are meant for kings and royalty. You know, right? Uh, your Majesty, you are so funny. I'm not being funny. I am speaking the obvious. Do you look at yourself sometimes in the mirror before you step out of your house? You are one of the finest living things that I have seen in my entire life. Your jawline is beautiful. Your lips are luscious and beautiful. Your dentition is great. I love your pointed nose. Your eyeballs can kill. My goodness, you are a gorgeous woman endowed with beautiful giftings for a king. Um, thank you, I Your Majesty. I understand that you're flustered, but it's okay. <laughs> Your Majesty, you have um, you have done so much for Okwe, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. I mean, maintaining peace and order is not an easy feat to achieve nowadays in any community. I even see that so many great kings are having plenty of difficulties trying to establish the kind of secure kingdom you have achieved. Uh, is it okay? Yes, my darling. <laughs> I was um, I was thinking that His Majesty would maybe order the gods or maids to offer me something to drink or eat as a sign of warm welcome to the palace. I was thinking that you let me take you somewhere special, somewhere private, where it would just be you and I talking privately. You could drink at that point if you want to. You could eat. That's okay, but somewhere really nice. Uh, Okwe is secure. Uh, there is no cause for fear. You have even confirmed it yourself. So shall we? Please. That would have been very nice, Your Majesty, but um, I'm afraid time is not on my side. Ah, uh, time is on your side, because I can make time stand still. You're not leaving my side anytime soon. You're a beauty to behold. And I still behold you, Chinaza, daughter of the soil. She's the one for me. And I'll go all out to have her. For she will compliment me. She'll be a true definition of a square peg in a square hole. She will complete the incomplete part of me. And for once in my entire life, 
I shall become a complete king. Something that I've always dreamt of. Today is indeed a beautiful day in Okwe. Oh no, we could look at all. You are about the closest person and the only person that the king listens to. Why don't you capitalize on that closeness and advise him to solve his problem? Ezukwe has no problem. So what problem are you asking him to solve? A king who cannot pray on the agony of his people. You call that a king? Ezukwe cannot pray on the agony for his people because his wife is not from Okwe. And that is why I am the one who has been handling that anytime the need arises. And you still say he has no problem? You still say he has no problem? Why don't you advise the king to marry a woman from Okwe? So that he can be able to pray on, his, on the journey of his people? Yeah. Yes. Is your bonus? No. I will advise you to learn how to live with the reality of the moment. What reality are you talking about, Olo? Now, let me educate you. I'm listening. Good. Polygamy, mm. though a tradition in our society, mm. Eh, mm. has been rejected by majority of the women. Hmm? Ezeokwe is happily married. He has a happy family. Married to a woman who by all standard is an exceptional woman. Hmm? I'm listening. Go ahead. Good. So, you don't encourage such a person to go into polygamy eh? and probably destroy the happiness of his family. Hello. Yes. The man we are talking about here is not just an ordinary man. In case you forget, we are talking about the king here. The king that cannot go to the agony of his people to pray. What kind of king is that? Right now, as I'm talking to you, a lot of our people are no longer happy with it. Oh, yes. It's your one. No. Can you count on your fingertips? Maybe from 10 to 20. There are persons of families that are complaining. I know you cannot. Mm. As a matter of fact, you are the only one who is complaining here. Mm. You think so? I am very sure. Yes, it is true that uh, Ezokwe cannot pray on the agile. Yet, eh? Okwe kingdom has not gone up in flames. Mm. We are living in perfect peace. Better than so many other kingdoms. As recent as yesterday, eh, I took three of our women who I need of the fruit of the womb to Ajane for prayer. And the prayer was such a success. So stop encouraging or pushing somebody who is happily married into polygamy. There's no sense in it. That smile is not from the deepest part of your heart. Uh, why would you say that? Because you're not okay. I'm, I'm fine. So you're not. It's quite obvious. It's really obvious. Yes, it is. Ah. I must be easy to read then. My darling sister, I've been thinking of the restrictions that I've had to deal with and live with as a king. As a king. Even as a king. 
restrictions that stops me from performing all my duties, carrying out all my responsibilities for my people. Goodness, brother. We have passed that stage already. Have we? Yes, we have. I don't think I have. It is something that keeps me up at night. The fact that I cannot pray at the sacred place of our journey because I am married to a woman that is not of one way. Don't tell me you're planning to take another wife. Would that not be the honorable thing to do? Given the fact that I have all that it takes. Hmm? I wouldn't. I mean, you would be scattering this beautiful family with such decision. How about me? If you're my sister, you will not understand with me. And who else do I have? I'd like to be left alone, Adara. It's okay. We can talk about something very important. What? Like what? The monthly report we made from the palm plantation from the last month to the middle of this month. Um, Chidera, you are the one in charge of the family's business. You have managed impressively to transform the Royal Plan Plantation into a multi-million Naira business venture. You don't need me. For I trust you absolutely to do the right thing. So you see that we almost have nothing to talk about. As the king wishes. Excuse me. Let me be very sincere with you, my dear Princess Odera. If my husband decides to take a second wife, I will not stop him. You're ready to let another woman come into this palace and disrupt the peace that took you a whole lot to build. Let us understand that first of all, we're talking about a very influential king. A pretty one of that. And wealthy too. It's his right to marry as many women as he deems fit. Yes, I know it is his right. But please, don't mention him to his hearing. Else he's going to take that decision to have as many wives as, as he wants. And I'm sure you know that would not go down well with our family. Odera, my husband doesn't feel fulfilled that he cannot pray on the Ajani like other kings do. And to the best of my knowledge, that is limiting his happiness. That is why you want him to take another wife. Her attitude might not even go down well with us. If the man that she will call her husband will not have any issue with her, I will not have any either. My king, I can only make a suggestion, but I cannot tell the king what to do. But I can tell you how I feel. In my lifetime, I would like to stand at the square of our journey making pronunciations as king. That explains why I'm here. And I am very, very happy that you're already thinking in that direction. The next thing to do now, my king, is to find a woman. You know, as a king, you need a cool-headed woman. Else, you'll be destroying the peace and love of this house. And equally, that of the kingdom. Mm. 
But any woman who comes in as a second wife must understand that she has to be loyal to the first. That is how it's supposed to be. But you know, women are very, very unpredictable. They make promises in the beginning. But when they come in, they turn something else that you won't even believe. Any woman who tries that with me, I would not hesitate to kick out. Ah, I can, you will not do that. That will be further complicating the issues. Honestly. It's your bond now. My king. Have you noticed that I don't know who is unperturbed about my plight? My king. Do you know who is not perturbed about your plight? Because he feels he's already doing the job. And that is not good. Because people are already saying that you're not a complete king. And you have to put a final full stop to that by marrying a woman from Okwe. <laughs> My king. By marrying a woman from Okwe. That's what I think. That's what I think, My king. You are wise. My king. To understand. You should know why father left the way he did. I am not a magician to know what troubles your father when he hasn't spoken. Wow. He's troubled, right? I didn't say so. Oh well, yes, maybe that is the reason he left the way he did. Well, father has been quiet and withdrawn. I observed that, too. Okay. Since both of you have noticed that your father is not in the best of his moods, why don't you two go to him and ask what is going on with him? What do you think, brother? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's the right thing to do. Then let's do it. We need to talk further. I'm not in the mood to talk, please. I'd like to be left alone. We insist. Yes, ma'am. Take your sister out of my room. I want to be left alone. Father, why did you leave the dining the way you did? That's because I lost appetite. Father, you specifically instructed the cook to prepare that food because it's your favorite. True. But somewhere along the line, I lost appetite for food. Come on, Father. You and I know that this is not a matter of appetite. So what is this about? Tell us, Father. You know he can always count on us. We're your children. Okay, Ruka, take your brother with you. Both of you, please go back to the dining and enjoy your food. I'm, I'm fine. Huh? I'm okay. Father, I will tell you because I learned a lot. You are a complete king. 
Stop nursing the idea of bringing another woman to compliment you. Father, you and I know that if the owner will praise on the offer of our journey successfully, then you have nothing to worry about. Father, from your heart of hearts, you know I'm saying the truth. Father, bringing in another woman into this palace will spoil the peace and unity in this house. Okay, that's enough. Please leave my room. If you don't leave, I'll get the gas to throw you out. Father, it has not got into that. Ezuma, let's go. Father, I will come back for this discussion. You are not going to raise this topic with me again. Get out. He's not ready to talk. But trust me, mother. I will go back to him and get it sorted out. Even from the way he was talking, one knows that he has made up his mind to marry a woman from Ubi for real. I will suggest that both of you allow him to do only that which makes him happy. Just say that. Simple truth. You both know that your father have not been a very happy man. So if marrying another woman from Oko will qualify him to stand in the sacred place and restore his happiness, then so be it. Why didn't he do these things? Why will it be now that he will pick interest? in polygamy. That's okay. Both of you go back to your meal. Alright? So take the makeup box, disinfect all the brushes and sun dry them. I don't want you to use the drying machine. I do clear on that. So just leave us. Yes, my princess. Dara, you look troubled. As the queen of this kingdom, there are certain people you should not be allowing into this palace. Why don't you be specific? I am talking about the street hawk that you let into this palace as a bank manager. I mean, I've never heard about that bank anyway. I don't know what this is about. The young lady that came to see your husband. What about her? The one that claims to be a bank manager. Why would you allow somebody like that to come close to your husband? Such people are just roving around looking for someone's husband to snatch. Dara. Dara. Is it okay that you know whom you have known all your life? It's bigger than all of that put together. You know the problem I have with you? You take so many things for granted. You see, I have been married to my husband, my king, your brother, for 22 years and counting. I can boldly tell you the things that he can do and the things that he can never do. You are vouched for him. If a woman cannot vouch for the man she chooses as her husband, then why did she marry him? Hey girl. 
You're such a sweet babe. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Anna. I'm good. How are you? Good. How's work? We managing. Abio. Abio, what's going to do now? So you were telling me something about your last visit to the palace. Oh. Do you mind throwing more light? That. Huh. My dear, I went on a courtesy visit to the palace, right? To see the king would open an account on my bank. Mm -hmm. But this man just completely left that topic and he started flirting with me. Yeah. He was hating on me. He was lost in. What? Yeah. He made it that clear. It was so glaring that <laughs> at the point I became so uncomfortable. He even proposed to take me to the best restaurant in town to have more private time to discuss. Are you serious? I mean, if he got to that extent, I won't be wrong to say that the king has fallen head over heels in love with you. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> hey, this is... I don't know. But if that's true, then that's a dream that will never come true. <laughs> Why did you say that? Because the king is a married man with kids. And you know me, I never intend to have anything to do with another woman's husband. Good girl. Never. <laughs> okay, so how did it end? Huh? At a point, the king was becoming so dramatic. So of course, I just had to advise myself immediately. And I left. Man. So avoid trouble. Man. <laughs> Men and their endless quest to explore new women. Once they see one, they will get so restless. I see. Like, huh. what's this? My dear, I just thank God that the wife did not say all that. Just imagine. She wouldn't have done anything. Babe, you and I know that King Okwe of Okwe Kingdom is a very cute man. I mean, any woman married to such an handsome man should know that women will always flirt and hit on him. Like, you're missing the point. I never hit on this man. He actually hit on me. Okay? Actually just went there for business and he was just flirting, lusting. Oh. Then you can decide to explore. I mean, the rugged man in between men's legs did not pass exam. He didn't even go to school. Like, it will always misbehave and end up putting their owners in big mess. So <laughs> you're crazy. Which one, which one is rugged man? You just rugged have a man. funny way of saying things. I think it's rugged now. <laughs> it's crazy. But you're right though. It's really true. That's not playing too too. Guys, but, you and this game all the time. Are you even saving money at all? Please, you will not understand. I have vision. I hear you. Vision here. Immediately I win this money, I will go to school. I know that is my dream, to study medicine. And I will achieve it. Yeah? Don't worry. Look at me. They are playing chess with one girl. Guy, Papa does not have the money to see you through school. If you ask me, I would suggest you go learn handwork. I have resigned to that fate, and that's why I want to marry. If my husband has the money to see me through school, I'll go to school. Well, um, sis, I'll discuss with him, Papa first when he comes back. Hmm? If he says that you write jam, then next year I will register for jam. What if he says no? Hmm? I have no choice now. If he says no, then I'll go and learn and work. Where is Where your is father? It? Uncle, good afternoon. Uncle, good afternoon. Come on, keep that stupid greeting to your Where office. is your father? Uncle, is there any problem? There's a big problem. In fact, a very big one at that. What I want to say is not meant for your ears. If your father is in there, tell him to come outside. Hey, Doka. What is it? Go to the church and give thanksgiving because your evil you have been perpetrating has come to fulfillment. What is that are you talking about? Don't you go pretend like you don't know what I'm saying. Hey, Doka. How can I know what you're talking about when you have not voiced it? Yeah? Listen, you have to hear it. You have to voice it. You have to vomit it from your very guts. Eh? So that one can decode your meaning. You understand? Let me hear what you have to say. Then I will know what to reply you. My son died yesterday. I know you are the one responsible for it. Don't even pretend like if you don't know what I'm saying. This time, you won't go scot free. I will come for you with everything I've got to make sure you go the same way. Hey, look, eh? You see, people are not encouraged to speak. When they are angry, the spirits are listening, the ancestors are paying attention. 
Even the deities are the bad deities of the land. Are paying attention. They are listening. And they can bear me witness that I did not kill your son. But as I not listen to listen goods, I wasn't even expecting you to admit it. Like I said, I will come for you and make sure you go down for it. You will, you will hear from me. I've been looking for you everywhere. I've been here. You don't need to look for me. You see, um, I want you to employ me at the Royal Palm Plantation. I want to start working as a man and earn money for myself. I don't understand. You need to finish your school. Go for NYIC before you can talk about work. I know about that. But I want to apply for NYSE exclusion certificate. Then who's going to take it serious? Who's going to take it for a job? Please, just concentrate and then get a good result. Finish your school. Listen, there has been a job that has been arranged for you and your sister right from bed. Really? Yes. Please, can you... Please, can you tell me this job that has been resolved for I and my sister. Like I said, round up with your school, your NYSC, and you will have the job that has been reserved for you. One, befitting the real status. Princess Odira, you don't understand. I'm curious about this thing, right? I want to stand out as, as a man. I have visions. I have plans for myself. There is these things I have, I have to start doing for myself as, a, as the prince of this kingdom. You're right. Finish your NYSC and you have your job. On my side, there is none, but I can see that there's a lot on your mind. Nothing I can't handle. Do you want to talk to me about it? I've just told you that there's something that I can handle, so I'm fine. My king, lying is not a good trait for a king. Besides, it will not help the situation. I have the problems of the people of Okwe on my small head. That is enough to worry me. You will not die for the people of Okwe. I am not trying to die. As their king, you have done more than enough. But there is a lot more to do. You see, there's something that worry does. Weakens your heart, weakens your belly walls, makes you sick. I'm sure you don't want to experience that. Try not to manipulate your husband emotionally. Stop it. <laughs> I like it when you smile. Because you light up my day, you just know how to do it. Isn't that why I'm your queen? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> so how are you? I'm glad that you asked. <laughs> Look at you.
Ah, why you are you in chamber now? How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Sir. Where are you coming from? I went to the market to get some food stuff. Oh, listen. At this stage of your pregnancy, your husband should be the one running all the errands for you. Yeah? <laughs> You're right, Nchi. But he has been very busy at work, so I just didn't want to disturb him. Hey, you have to disturb him. No, you have to disturb him. Otherwise, I will come and talk to him myself. Ah, ah. No, no, no. Okay, I'll disturb him. Don't worry. Please I'll disturb, disturb him. him for me. Disturb him, eh? I hey, know. you know what this is, <laughs> eh? Maybe there are two or three, or even four in there. Eh? <laughs> we are you, expectant, sir. eh? Thank you. Yeah, sir. isn't it? Right. You see, okay, oh? Thank you, sir. Hey, it's, it's well, eh? Yeah, that's right. Um, there, oh? You see, okay? Yeah. Is it true that Papa is responsible for the problems of his family member? <laughs> See, Sai, honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore. Because this whole thing is not funny anymore. He's not. The other time was on Queen Inaya. He accused him of making him lose the contracts with the construction company in the city the other day. Okwile Hakim, accusing him of the death of his daughter. Sis, if I tell you that I'm not too worried about all this drama, I will, that means I'm a liar. Do you know what baffles me? In the midst of all this, Papa is not disturbed at all. He's not. You don't have to be surprised about that. Probably because his hands are clean. Yes. Or because he's guilty of all the accusations leveled against him. Sis, you don't have to say that about your father. He's our father. Look. Okay? You don't have to. Look, I'm tired. I am choked up. At this point, we need to have a conversation with Papa. You cannot force Papa to have a discussion with you. You know it. He will refuse it. No, not this time. He will not have a choice. <sighs> He so, won't. so, so, wait. If he refuses to have discussion with us, what will you do? Till then, now, do what to do. Till then. See, 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 Tatiana. If this Tatiana now win, I will win. Give me. Mama, pay our now. Oh. Mama, pay our phone now. Princess Odera. The outstanding beauty in the palace. How are you today? Honestly, I am not fine. I know it has a lot to do with your brother, so go ahead and tell me what you feel is right for us to do. Have you tried to find out why he is so quiet and will join? Oh yes, I asked him, but he wouldn't tell me. You know, everything just changed after the visit of that dejected bank manager. Honestly, I wouldn't want to go back there. But you know, I am telling you the truth. Listen, you have to find out why he is so quiet and withdrawn. He is your husband. It's not a problem. I will. Please do. Thank you. You do know that. Ah! What is it? What is it? What is it? See, see. Ah! What happened? What is it? I don't know. I don't wait, know. wait, come on, darling. Relax, relax. Did you do anything stressful today? No, I did not. I need you to do some thinking, man. Think, think. Did you at any time today do anything stressful? Except when I was coming back from the market. Uh -huh. uh, and I met Ichi Mbanaso on my way back and we just discussed and he left. Huh? That was all. Did you say you met my brother Mbanaso on the road? Yes, I did. Wait, did he at any time touch you? Did he touch your tummy? No, he did not. Uh -huh. Did he touch you uh, uh, at any time? He just tapped me. He tapped me on the back after we finished discussing and he left. That was the only thing. Hey! Oh. He <sighs> wants to kill my baby just as he did to Eloka. But it will not work for him. It will not work for him. No! What are you uh, talking about? Don't worry, don't worry, my baby. Don't worry, my baby. It, it shall be well, eh? It uh, shall be well. Take it easy. Uh, uh. Oh. Don't worry, it shall be well, eh? Ah! 
What? I think the baby is coming though. Ah? The baby is coming. I can't coming? Ah! Hey, wait, wait, wait. My baby, oh, just relax. It's eh? coming, oh. Relax, I'm coming. I'm coming, ah. ma. Just be here. Ah. I'm coming. Hey. Waste. Hurry, oh. Ah. Mm. 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 Ah. Where are you? Ah. Mm. 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 Ah. 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 If you are not asleep yet. Yes, papa. Okay, I guess you want to talk to me about what happened in the afternoon. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, Bruno General, can I just sit down? So, I'm all ears. Papa, your own brother see you as a bad person. Why? They are entitled to their own opinion. I'm not bothered about that. And you shouldn't be bothered anyway. Papa, we are bothered. Sooner or later, they will extend this hatred to us. That shouldn't bother you. On contrary, Papa, we are bothered. It's disturbing us. They are your brothers. And they are also our uncles. Very soon, they will come against you. And they can plan anything evil to, to affect you. I don't know. If any of them dares me, okay, I will, eh? I will finish that one. Papa. Why are you sounding like you're guilty of everything they're accusing you of? The girls know that I have never planned evil against any of my brothers. And I will never do that. The girls bear me witness to tomorrow. If that is true, Papa, why are they accusing you of killing their children and also accused you of causing ill locks to them? It is their belief. Like I said, they are entitled to their own opinion. I'm not worried about that at all. Papa, if your innocence of all the allegations level against you, at least look for a way to clear off your name now. Hey, how do I do that? I don't know, but just do something. I don't know. Now. Anyways, we have not uh, gotten to that point yet. Eh? When we come to that bridge, we'll cross it. And both of you will be proud of the way I will clear my name. I'm telling you. Forget it. Pass, you are waiting for the right time to clear your name. I don't know if you can give me 200 now. Let me. I want to play one game. Yeah, bombastic issue, Nama. Ah, please help me. This pain is too much for me relax. to Relax. Yes. Please help Stand. me. Relax, ah. relax. Your baby is ready to come out. All okay. is left for you now. Okay. When you hear ah. push, push with all your strength. Mm. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready to push? Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now, mm. push. Mm. Push. Ah. push. 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 You're trying. You're trying. Ah. You can do You did well. You did well. Try more. Breathing. 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 Sustain your breathing. Sustain. Okay. Sustain. Sustain your breathing. Now, you ready to push? Now, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Push. Apo Ikri. When a titled man clears his throat, the ancestors pay attention. Eke Uli Afo Unko Afe na bali no kibu na azu. Oga dream man eke dream man ole dream man afo dream man unko. Where is my dream na mo geja lo dream ni? Where is my dream na ma onyo so ma nyuma amri? Put your body. Put your hand on your body. Ta! And the man who man who laughed again. Hehehe. I have brought out my offer. Because accusations are flying in from left, right, and center. Yes! On our one bad also, I very agree. When an animal makes a mysterious run, the hunter shoots a mysterious bullet at it. That is the way it is, and that's the way it has always been. 
I have never planned evil for anyone. I have never planned anyone's downfall. I have never taken any life. Whoever, man or woman, grown or child, that has risen to spoil my name in any way, just to make me go down. Hey. May the ancestors deal with such a person. Whoever, man or woman, that has risen against me in any way to bring me down. Yeah. The person shall defecate without passing urine. The gods of our land shall strike the person dead. The four markets, aka Olia from Kwa, shall rise against the person. And let us see where the person will escape to. Yeah. Makana, what's the other name of the Deacon I am not afraid of anyone, and I have never been afraid of anyone because I have never offended anyone as far as I am concerned. The gods bear me witness. So, let the gods of our land rise in judgment against they that rise against me. Say, mm. button. Tell us about your pregnancy. to tell us whatever it is is endangering your life and that of your unborn child. You have to start talking. I can't. I can't. You can't do what? You can't do what? You want to kill yourself? Would you talk to me? How? How is she? She did not make it. <laughs> what do you mean by she did not make it? Make what? Why is she making? She's dead. You're joking. I hope you're joking. Mm -hmm. How can you be joking at this point in time? This is not time for joke. I'm not joking. We tried our best to see that 
she and the baby lives. It's a lie. My wife and baby are okay. They're all right. She's not dead. She wake up. Why, why, why are you talking with that? Why? How can you? She? Chukun, please wake up. Chukun, Chukun, listen. I know how you feel. But this is not the end of your life. It is the end of my life. She's my everything. She's my adult. She's my everything. She's my everything. She wake up. Wake up. Please wake up. Wake up. She wake up. Wake up. Wake up. She that is here. Talk to me, please. She wake up. No. This is not happening. She? Please wake up, my darling, my baby, sweetheart. Hey, this is not happening. Oh, she wake up, please wake up, wake up, wake up. She hey, talk to me, that is here. Wake up, hey, oh, this is not happening. Jim, please wake up, <laughs> wake up, wake up. Good afternoon, mother. Okay, Ruka. Mother, wow. You're enjoying yourself. Thank you. Can I? Yes, you can. Thank you. Mm. You like? Hello. <coughs> when did you say you're going back to school? Um, This weekend. So I came to present the list of things I will need. Don't tell me you mean this. What? Are you talking to me, mother? Uh-uh. I am talking to myself. What is this? Nkiroka, you just presented a list of approximately 3.5 million naira to me. You're giving me a list for 3.5 million naira for a semester that will last for just four months. I don't understand. Something is wrong with this list. What do you mean? What do I mean? Do you know that with what you have on this list, a full-fleshed man can comfortably get married and feed his newly wedded wife? Do you? One bag of rice, 20 liters of groundnut oil, five cartons of noodles. I don't even want to talk about other things. 500,000 naira for clothes, 250,000 naira for shoes, and 1.5 million naira cash. Okay, well, are you going to school or going to marry with friends? Mother. Father has the money, and the last time I checked, he's not complaining. Oh, well, I am. Listen. You will take this nonsense back. You will work on this list and bring it back to me. Just maybe I will consider it. Wait, how much do you want me to sum it up to? Young lady. Reduce that list drastically. Bring it back to me. Mother. Have I... you heard of Reef Tower Gold Estate? Have you? So if I approve this nonsense, you will jump up in excitement. Sometimes you just become too silly. Where is he? Mama! 
Malasa? Malasa? Where is he? Malasa? Is he not in this house? Malasa? What is this? You have done the worst. Malasa, you have done the worst. You have done the worst. I hope you are happy now. You have, you have killed my wife. Huh? I hope you're happy now. How do you mean I've killed your wife? You don't know how you touched my wife with your evil hands yesterday afternoon. Later in the evening, she was forced into untimely labor. And she died because she died in the process. She's now dead. You're happy. Hi. It's a pity you lost your wife. Please accept my sincere condolences. Now, what about the child she bore? Was she able to give birth to the child before she died? Man, so why are you talking as if you don't know what you did and how you did it? See, you have done many evil in the past and got away with them, but you will never get away with this one. No, you will not. Chukwode, I did not kill your wife. I know you will not own up. You will not accept, you will not own up to your actions. But as I said before, you have killed many people in the past. But this time around, number I saw, Nemesis will catch up with you. You will see. Why do you blame me for your day, Chukwode? Be because you are evil. You are an evil man. You just killed my wife. But you see me, number I saw. I'm coming after you. Evil man. You will see me. Why do they always blame me for, for their ideas? No, anything that happens, mbanaso, 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 eh? Why do they always blame me for their ideas? Why is your face like that? My mother is at it again. What has she done this time? She doesn't want me to live like the king's daughter that I am. I don't understand. I gave her the list of the things I'll be needing as I'm preparing to go back to school. And she said I should... that the list is too long. Is the list long? Yes, it's long. But it's not that my father cannot afford it. Let me see the list. Please, please. You know what? I'll just look at the list and get back to you. Okay. Sister, but I'm going back to school this weekend. I'm just hearing you for the first time. I'll get back to you on before tomorrow. Okay, sister. You can go. Thank you. He's not inside. Neither is he here as well. Where could he have gone to this early morning? How would I know? How? Call his phone. I should call his phone. 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 Oh, okay. Here he comes. Chukwadi, where are you coming from? I, I went to tell him by myself to come and pick his boots. How do you mean? He killed my wife and unborn child. Chukwadi, we know. This is no time to apportion blames. Eh? The first thing to do is to take her to the mortuary. Later, we, we, we can do the remaining test. He killed my wife and unborn child. I swear with my life, he can never get away with it. Uh, Chukwadi, you have to be a man like uh, Eloka has said. Of course. Hmm? We are going to have a meeting and deliberate on this. But first of all, let us carry her to the mortuary. Hmm. Hmm? I will I'll bring her myself. Hello? You yourself. Excuse me, I'm coming. It's, it's alright, it's alright. Uh, I understand. You have said it all. 
let us calm him down. Hmm? Then immediately after taking that we have a meeting. But that meeting should be after the burial of Chidema. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry I could not protect you from that evil man called Umbanaso. But let me make this promise to you that I must avenge your death. Yes, I must avenge your death even if it is the last thing I do. Even if it means doing it with the last drop of my blood, I must avenge your death. I also want you to fight him from the other side of life where you have gone to. Give him no rest. Fight him until he confesses and dies a shameful death. Hi! Are you sure he did not go inside to cry? Let's wait a little more. If he's not out, then we can go in and check. But on a serious note, we have to find a way to stop Mbanaso before he kill all of us. I already have my plans for him. And when I unleash it, nothing will stop me not to kill him. One thing I keep asking myself is this. Why did he choose to kill us, his family members? Who knows? Maybe that is the instruction the Dibia is working for giving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Immediately after Chidiman's burial, we have to find a way to stop Mbanaso before he kills all of us. You are right, because one man cannot continue to terrorize us. We are all men, and we are all capable. But we still have to be very careful of Umbanaso. He is a wicked soul, very wicked soul. If he gets to find out what we are planning, trust me, he is going to go after all of us. That is why we have to keep this within us, until we are ready to strike. No, Egypt. Niji, as a Niji, Kebe Chukwu Diaga, where did he go? Ezeogwe, looking at you, there's something you are itching to say. Let me hear from the Royal Majesty so that we can deal with it immediately. I will tell you no. I am happy to tell you that I have found a woman that will compliment me. Majesty, I don't understand. I have decided to take a second wife. And I have found the one that I want to make my second wife. And the lady in question is from here. She's from Okwe. Are you sure you are ready for this? Oh no. I would not want to tour that route of conversation with you. I have made up my mind on what I want to do. Marrying a woman from Ogwe is going to do so many things for me. But the most important would be that it allows me to stand at the sacred place of Ajan when the need arises as king of Ogwe. But, Your Majesty, that you have not been doing it has not reduced your power as the king of this kingdom. You have always been the undisputed king of Ukwe kingdom. Hello, Majesty. I have made up my mind. Being king. and not being able to do a few things. And being king, and having the freedom to do all the things that I need to do are two different things. Marrying that woman would allow me to do things that before now I could not do. And I need your help. I want your support. I deserve your support as your king. 
your majesty. Congratulations then. Good. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, however, uh, there is a problem. What is the problem? My first wife, Winnie Odera, yes. my sister. My son. And my daughter. These people will object to this move. I know. I know. Your Majesty, this is the exact reason I'm asking you to relax and move. Hello. Your Majesty, <laughs> you have a very, very loving family that should not be ruined with polygamy. I thought you just congratulated me now. Why are you talking like this? Let me ask you, Your Majesty. Are you sure that the woman you've just found is truly a daughter of the soil? She's a daughter of the soil. She is from Okwe. She said that to me herself. Oh no. I want you to be the one to speak to Queen Isioma, my first wife. Appeal to her conscience. Make her understand that this is something that I have to do. Something that the king needs to do. Hmm? Please. I am confident that because of the way she respects you, she will listen to you. Princess came complaining bitterly to me that you turned down her long list. There is no way in the world that I will approve a list as ridiculous as that one. What she's asking for is a ridiculous amount. Did you see the list? Listen, add a little money on that list and you will buy a very beautiful car. What she's asking for can comfortably empower 20 people in this community. How am I supposed to approve of that? I'm not saying you should approve everything. What exactly are you saying? Just look for your way and make her happy. Pick the tangible ones. I've told her to. Work on the list and until she does that, I'm not going to have a conversation with her in that regard. You didn't go to work. No, I'm going to very soon. I see. Odera, I would like you not to get involved with this. Listen, I am trying to raise a child that will not only understand that there's dignity in labor, but one who will understand prudent spending. Well, her complaint was that her father has the money. So because her father has money, it should be wasted on irrelevant things. Exactly. Someone is having my favorite wine. Yeah. I like it. Obviously. <laughs> you know, the way it goes down the throat so easily. Now you're addicted. I'm not as much as I did as you are. There's a one. Yes, what? What is it? I would like for you to get straight to the point. For as it is, I am. Um, I'm dealing with a lot at the moment, and I cannot accommodate distractions. Hmm? 
Oh, good. <clears throat> okay, Father. Um, I would like you to help me beg and tell Dera to employ me in the family palm plantation business. Why? Um, Father, I'm done with my studies. And I think it's time for me to own up as a man and become that independent as I've always wanted for myself. <laughs> my son. Yes, Father. I admire your desire for independence and success. You see, I'm a believer of doing things at the right time. Your mother and I found love quite early in life. And so we chose to do the right thing. We got together and we got married. That was us doing the right thing. We had you and your sister. Again, that was us doing the right thing at the right time. I believe that you must do the right thing at the right time. But I strongly feel that the request to begin to work with your auntie Odera is a bit uh, premature. If you ask me, I would say not yet. Uh, um, with all due respect, Father, um, I'm a bit confused. But what do you mean by being premature? Um, I'm confused. I'll explain to you. You cannot run faster than your shadows. Hmm? One more step before you get to the point that you seek. I would like for you to go for your NYC and serve your father's land. I see. Okay, um, Father, is it compulsory that I serve before going up as a man? Yes. Okay. I think the NYSC certificate is the problem here. Well, not just the NYSC certificate, but also the discharge certificate that will be handed to you at the end of your service here. You see, beyond all of these certifications, I also need you to acquire the experience that comes with service. It's important, isn't it? You are going to need it. Well, um, Father, with exemption certificate and exclusion certificate, they both serve the purpose of discharge certificate. I know. you see in life. Whatever you circumvent, you will eventually come back to. Beyond all the certifications again, I need you to serve your father's land. There's a level of experience that comes with service. Isn't one? 
you are my only son and you are going to sit on this throne one day when I am gone and the people of Okwe would want him as king I don't want you to be a stooge. I want you to be a man. One who is grounded. One who is not a pushover. Do not skip the experiences that would make you a great man in life. I need you to understand what I am talking about. Huh? When I have stayed my time and joined our ancestors, you are going to become king. And I want our people to know that you're a chief of the old block, that you are your father's son. Do you understand? One step at a time. Go for your NYSC. When you're done, come back to me and let us talk. <laughs> What are you doing here? Uh, Uncle, we are here to sympathize with you for the loss of your wife and the unborn child. Uh, you are here to confirm if the handwork of your father really worked. Uncle, how do you mean? Your father killed my unborn child and my wife. No, this is a heavy allegation on my father. It is not allegation. It is the truth. Your father killed my wife and unborn child and I will make him pay. Uncle, we are really sorry for you, Moses. Uncle, we are sorry and I pray that God in heaven will give you the fortitude to bear your loss. Okay, leave my house. Go, just go. Uncle, please don't be angry now, please. Do not say I did not warn you. Get out! Uncle, Uncle, we will leave. But please, before leaving, is there anything you would love us to do for you? Please. Like helping you fetch water or even to cook for you? Yes, please. Um, actually, there are lots of things to help me do. Just stay here and wait for me. I'm coming. God in heaven knows I would have beheaded both of you and sent your hairs to your father. Idiots. What is this? <coughs> what is this? Who is pushing you? Who is after you? Uncle Ella. Uncle Chukudi. Chukudi. What happened? We... We want to pay him a condolence visit and he chased us away. Who sent you on a condolence visit? Papa, what, 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 what do you mean by that? You heard me loud and clear. Who sent you on a condolence visit? The manner of approach you have on this issue is making us believe what people are saying about you. Yes, Papa. Excuse me? Exactly, Papa. The man who lost his wife and, and, and unborn child is your brother. I mean your blood brother. In fact, he is the last born of your father. Are we not supposed to go to him and condole with him, sir? You see, uh, both of you don't seem to understand what is going on here. If you will listen to me, as your father, I will advise you to stay away from all of them. All your so-called kinsmen, stay away from them until it is proven that I, Mbanaso, I have no hands in what is happening to them. That is it. Everything is turning to a mystery. And it's tearing the family apart. My worry is that all along they have been accusing Papa for being wicked, for being evil. 
but none of them has said that I caught him doing this or doing that. It has always been accusation and counter accusation. It keeps me worried. They believe that Papa is diabolic and he's sending the attack spiritually. Ah, they have scored Chelsea again. What did I do to Chelsea? Guys, Chelsea cannot win any match. I don't understand. I, I'm sorry that. Why wouldn't you want me to offer you something? Oh no, thank you very much for your benevolence, but I'm okay. Sure. Of course. Uh, it is just that it is against our tradition to have dry discussion with the Queen under the roof of Onobu. <laughs> oh no, but this is on my request. If I need anything, I will not hesitate to let you know. That's all right. Well, let me go straight to the point. Yes, yes. Uh, your husband, I'm talking of our king, the king of Okwe Kingdom, feels he's not complete as a king and that you have a role to play in making him complete. Can you please shed more light on that? I'm talking about He's being able to pray to Ajani by himself instead of sending me to know to do that for him when the need arises. If my husband wants to pray to Ajan, then let him go ahead and do whatever it takes to have that privilege. Really? But you know that he still cannot do so eh? as long as he has only you as his wife. Our tradition forbids the king from praying to Ajani when the queen is not a daughter of the soil. I am queen. It is my conjugal right to stand beside and behind my husband. If my husband wants to pray to Ajay himself, I will not stop him. All he needs to do is go ahead and do whatever it will take or give whatever it will cost to be able to do that. Are you saying that King is free to marry a second wife. Eh? That must be a daughter of Okwe, a daughter of the soil. Yes. Yes, so the thing is, if marrying a second wife or marrying a daughter of Okwe will make my husband a fulfilled man, then why do I have to stop him? He's free. <laughs> hey! Now I know why he married you against all odds. <laughs> My queen, you are a woman full of wisdom. <laughs> Thank you, No, for the compliment. Thank you. Uh, how is your lovely family? Where is everybody? Well, at the moment, I am a married bachelor. Why? Well, my wife is gone for a moment. And the baby of the house, my last born, is away in school. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Congratulations, Olo. How is the newborn doing? Mm. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your life, bro, baby boo. Come to think of it, I haven't seen your man in a while. Mm. That's one. Okay, forget about him. From the way you responded, I don't need anyone to tell me that all is not well. Mm. Nothing much though. Come on, what's the problem? He has run off again. <laughs> you know his second name now? Oboso. Mm. I may need you to run some lights on that because I don't understand what you're saying.
after the engagement. I think this is the best time to do this. Best time to do what? From me to you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you just engage me? What does it look like? You shouldn't want it? <laughs> of course I want it! <laughs> oh my goodness! So let's go. Uh, not so fast, baby. This calls for celebration. Yeah, I know it calls for celebration, but I have some important things I want to do right now. Can we go? All right, all right. Maybe later we will celebrate, Very but well. we must. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come on! Excited over the phone. Exactly. What's the good news? Hey, you know, bitch. <laughs> Tell me, what's the Go good on. news? I want you both to make a guess. You just hit jackpot. Oh, no. That's rude. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Jackpot. Oh, please. I hit something more than a jackpot. <laughs> I think I know what you did. You, did. you caught a big fish. Oh. No. Come on, girl, spill. Okay, yes. just take, 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 take a good look at me. What do you think is different about me today? Hmm? I'm not seeing anything. Say it already. Yeah, say it already, please. Nothing's different. Nothing's different. Ta da! I make him propose to me. <laughs> oh, oh my God, this is so lovely. Thank you, oh, darling. This is beautiful. Mother well, looks very cheap. Mirabel, I only stated the obvious. That's it now. This one looks cheap. Anyways, whatever. Look, it's not just about money, okay? It's his commitment of love to me. <laughs> exactly. Come to think of it, Mirabel, you're always so indifferent about this guy. Oh, that's because this guy, he always does things that piss me off. Reverse is the case this time. This guy just proposed to our friend. I mean, come on, cut this guy some slack. You call his proposing to this classy babe with such a classless ring something good? <laughs> that ring will not even be worth more than 2,000 euros. Jira, yeah. let me worry Thank you. about that, okay? Whether it's one naira, whether or not 10 naira, mm -hmm. I like it like that. I love okay? it. I, I love it. about that. Babe, My what own... matters to me? Is that it came from his heart. Exactly. Look, I beg, I beg. Most poor this day for me. I know Do not. Not go down to Lord of the Rings. I don't talk. At least I have a ring. Do you have? <laughs> Do you have a ring? Look at them. Look at them. Come on, come on, come on. Let not let this thing not come and burn your skin. See your cheek ring. Put this. Shift that. Why you? Your beautiful face and your long nose. My beautiful sunshine. Wow. Honey. Yeah, yeah. I've been thinking about something. Something like what? Take me to your parents so they can know me in person. Babe? I don't think this is the right time. Honey, look, you told me that you've told them a lot about me. It only makes sense for you to take me to them and do a formal introduction. Or am I asking for too much? Sunshine, you're not asking for too much. Good. So when are you taking me to them? 
But when I'm ready, I will take you there. I'm not ready yet. Why not? I said when I'm ready, I'll take you there. Please, can we change this discussion? There is no need to change the discussion, okay? As you can see, this is a very serious conversation. It's only right that we say it to the end. Really? Yes, my love. So when are we going? Uh, Sunshine, it's obvious you want to end this beautiful discussion abruptly. Please, since that is what you want. It's not even much. <sighs> Honey, you just walked out on me. <sighs> Why is he so angry? Babe. You just walked out on me. Is that fair? And I'll do that again if you don't let me be. Babe, are we fighting? We just started one. We just started one if you don't let me be. What's the problem? I'm sorry if I wronged you. Sorry for yourself. I waited for you all day yesterday. But you came back late. I thought we could celebrate our engagement. So today I was hoping that we could do it. You just spoiled my mood. You just did. But I just said I'm sorry. Just give me some time to pull myself together. We'll talk about that later. All right, love. Um, maybe I should go make us something to eat. Better. What would you like to eat? Anything you prepare will be okay by me. I wish you could make a choice. You like argument a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, just go. Do you mind joining me in the kitchen? Sorry. But you have gone. Stop picking up. Where could you be? Where could he be? What? No, 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 no. 
What's happening? Just a moment ago, your number was ringing, Emeka. What's happening? Now it's switched off. That. Who is it? Who? Who? You're welcome. Yeah, thank you, sunshine. Where have you been? Been around. Around where? This is my problem with you. I mean, putting me through some section of unwarranted interview. Not good at all. I don't see anything wrong with asking where you've been. Everything is wrong, and you know it. Okay, maybe you should tell me why it's wrong. Come on, sunshine. I'm just coming back home. Is this the best way to welcome me home? Emeka, do you realize I'm your girlfriend? Huh? Your fiancé at that. So that puts me in a position to know your whereabouts at all times. You didn't know that? Sunshine, so let me break that down for you. You see, that's a wrong postulation if you ask me. I must be discarded. No, it's not. It is, Sunshine. It is. If you say so. But just know that you owe me some explanation when I get back from work. I'm, I'm off. I'm famished. Is there food at home? Check the fridge. Oh, but it is easy. Don't be too fast. You know, Mika is a gentleman. Come on. Easy. <laughs> All right, then. Come on. Come on. Okay. So, what happened? That's how it's been between us. And funny enough. I still love him. Nazar, from all that you have just told us, it's obvious that this guy is not serious. And he's not taking you seriously. Exactly. It may seem so, but I don't think so. That's what it is. The signs are glaring, girl. Can we just change this topic, please? All the ladies in toxic relationships with men, they overlook all this, and that's not right. We need to handle this once and for all. Exactly. You're very right about that. Babe, you're a very classy girl. I mean, I, th I think you deserve someone better than this guy. But I'm not complaining. How will you complain? How will you complain? Like, from all you have told us, there is every reason to complain. With the way you're going about this, the love you have for this guy, I'm sure you would never complain, even if, even if this guy is choking you. <laughs> Look, that's how it's been between us, but funny enough, I still love him. You are not. No, you are not. Nazar, you are not. Okay, see, how about I hook you up with some guy who will treat you like the queen that you are? <laughs> exactly. Thank you, hook up. Thank you. I don't want. With the way you love this guy, I'm beginning to believe this guy is using some sort of charms on you. <laughs> he has got into charm matter now. Of course he's not. Why are you laughing? Is it funny? He is. I'm sure he is. And you need us, both of us, to bring you back to your normal self. <laughs> Chin, has stop laughing. This is not funny. And how are you going to do that? <laughs> it's funny, okay? For real, it is. I mean, look at me. What do you see? Hmm? 
I'm the one who's vaping. You're the one who's getting high on love. <laughs> my mind is made up, and you're here talking about bringing me back to my normal self. Are you thinking at all? Take, take. Yeah, maybe you need this thing. You need this thing. Take. Thing. You, need this thing. you don't know. <laughs> For they'll know to have discussed such with me. It means that the king must have discussed and reached an agreement with him to take another wife. I did not see this coming. That may have been the reason the king is withdrawn and moody lately. What do I do? The best thing to do right now is go a step ahead of the king. Oh yes, I will double cross him to avoid the troubles that goes with a second wife. You are blocking my way? Well, I'm here to condole with you over the death of your wife and your unborn baby. Or oh, you are here to mock me. Uh, you don't really seem to understand the kind of person I am. I'm a man of the gods. I don't mock anybody, especially my brother, my own brother. No. That is exactly the reason you are here, Mbanaso. But I can never allow you to mock me. No! I can never allow myself to be ridiculed by you. Do you really believe that I killed your wife and your unborn child? Yes. You killed them. Can you prove it? I can prove it. Alright, prove it to me. I will prove it on my own time in the presence of our king's man. When the time comes in Banasso, I will make sure you are put to shame. That's alright. Yeah? Call me any day, anytime, anywhere. Eh? Any moment, I will prove my innocence beyond reasonable doubt in the presence of a kinsman or anywhere, even before any deity. I'm Banaso. Well understood. You may not leave. I will leave. Hmm? Yes. I yes. will leave. But please, stop nursing this stupid notion in your mind that I, Mbanaso, killed your wife and your child. You killed them, Banaso. You killed my wife and my unborn baby. But as I told you, when it is time, I will make sure you are put to shame. <laughs> okay. It's alright. Uh, till then. But for now, please accept my sincere condolences. I'm not accepting any condolences from you, Banaso. I can't. Just leave my house. Go! Okay. So go to your house. Leave my house. Go to your house. Ah, your Majesty, this is good. I knew you would love it. <laughs> Thanks so much, Your Majesty. Hey. Uh, oh no, the Majesty. I've been waiting for you to tell me how your discussion with uh, the Queen went. 
on va faire les well, your majesty. She's not against you taking a second wife. You don't say. Your majesty, I tried to make her be the one encouraging you to do it, but she declined. She was not holding a bottle of drink at the time of this conversation. Your Majesty, I will disappoint you. She wasn't drunk. Perfectly okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did she give you her reason for not objecting? I mean, I am surprised. Well, Your Majesty, the Queen understands that aspect of African tradition that allows you to marry as many wives as you want as a king. Ah. This is good news. Yes, it is. <laughs> ah, so this means that all is well. You can carry on. Yes, perfectly well. Your Majesty, you can carry on. But at this point, Your Majesty, I have this question to ask. And I have the answers to your question. I have found someone that I want to marry. So, can you let me into who is this lucky woman? Slow down, you know, very soon. Uh, at the right time, I shall let you know who she is. <laughs> well, as your majesty pleases. <laughs> uh, this is good news. Let me take more of this, Your Majesty. Enjoy. <laughs> Greetings, Mother. Have you worked on the list like I instructed you to? Yes, I've cut down the list as you requested. Go and give it to your Auntie Odera. Why, Mother? She will look into it and tell me whether to go ahead or not. Okay, Mother. Um, mother, are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, Mother, I will go and see Auntie Odera. I have told her that I will not give her more money than I have already. You know, I think these days she's becoming too demanding. Yes, because she knows her father is a rich king. <laughs> Mom, your princess is ready. Greetings, mother. Greetings. Um, greetings, Atilera. <laughs> Young lady. Yes, mother. You have to take your studies seriously this time. I will, your mother. Remember that we have agreed you will graduate with nothing less than second class up. <laughs> I'll try, mother. What's funny? Nothing. I'll try my best. Agreement is agreement. Graduate with a GPA of at least 4.0 and I'll buy you a car. <laughs> I like that, mother. Um, I'll try my best. But I have a car in mind. No. That is because there's a particular car model that I would like my princess to drive. <coughs> wow. <coughs> well, Nkiruka, just study hard. And trust me, your auntie has something very special for you on your graduation day. <clears throat> uh, gifts, 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 gifts everywhere. Um, but you just have to know that you have to make us proud. Sure, I will. <laughs> Okay, mother, um, her flight is 2 p.m. and this is already 1 p.m. We have to go. Have to Son, go. you are going to 
drive her carefully because this is the princess of Okwe Kingdom. Mom, you already know that I'm a good driver. <laughs> That's okay. And young lady, you have to take your studies seriously. Read your books as many times as you can. Are we clear on this? I will, mother. Copy that already. Let's go. Um, let me help my mother first before I go. I'll miss her. Don't keep me waiting. Oh my God, mother, I'll miss you. Please I'll take care you. of yourself, okay? Be safe. I will, mother. You too. Until the rest. Oh my God. <laughs> mm. I'll miss you. Make sure you study hard, okay? I will. I will. Bye. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> Spoiled princess of a great king. Yes. Hey, baby girl. How are you doing? How's what going? Oh, my dear, you see now. <laughs> I ever thought you were not making no more. There is no way I would make it. <laughs> okay, so what's the good news? Talk what? Johnson finally proposed to me. What? Yeah. Okay, now this is some good news, yeah. <laughs> and we must celebrate. Of course. Yes, and he didn't just stop at that. He said he will go see his parents this weekend. What? Hmm. What? Are you double? No. Why? Because he's in a hurry and men tend to do that when their woman is pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. I'm Lika. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Why are you be the first to know? It's okay. I mean, I'm only trying to show concern. Well, I understand. It's but fine. But I'm happy for you. What? Thank you, baby girl. Finally. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so tell me, as the king called. Uh, no, and I'm not expecting this call. What if he calls and asks you to marry him? <laughs> you already know the answer I would give him. No, I don't. Maybe you should tell me. I'll simply say no. Nothing else. Okay. I guess I know that to be your response because my Nazo will not play second fiddle for any woman. Now you know me so well. <laughs> you can say that again. Now! Yes. Where are you taking me for this celebration? Anywhere we find fun, we'll dive in. Is there any bill I can't take care of? Ah! <laughs> Cash my down. You can say that again. The biggest entrepreneur in town. You know me. You know <laughs> <laughs> won't find a suitable place. Definitely. Believe. Really? <laughs> oh, let's go have fun. Uh -uh. Why? You want them to fire me? Wait, no, let me finish this. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Jideka, how are you? I'm fine, Majesty. Gineka is here to see you. Let her in. Greetings, Your Majesty. Jideka, how are you? I'm fine. Please sit. Thank you, I'll make this brief and straight, just so you understand exactly what I need from you. Okay, my friend. Are you a graduate? Yes, Your Majesty. What's your discipline? Business administration. Okay. Good. Very good. Ginika, my husband, your king, needs a second wife, and I want you to be that wife. What? Me? When I started my search for a good girl, a girl who is befitting enough to be second wife to the king, every single person I inquired from pointed at you and recommended you. That goes a long way to show that you are a very good girl. After you're married with my husband, I will personally make sure that you are employed into the exportation wing of the Royal Palm business. And your salary will be 250,000 Naira and above. My queen, this is too big for me to comprehend. You shouldn't I... be. All you need to do 
You say yes. Please, can I think about it? Ginika, it is your fundamental human right to think. So I oblige. But do not think for too long, just so we both understand on what page of the book we are on. Okay, my queen. When are you going to get back to me? Soon. That is not a vivid answer. Um, my queen. Before the end of this week. Uh -huh. Quite definite enough. That's okay, I will wait. Would you like to eat or drink something? No, my queen, I'm okay. Are you sure about that? Yes, my queen. I wish to take my leave. Okay, your wish is granted. Thank you, my queen. You are welcome. Ash is still very single, I need to do something. I need to act fast before another man who is single takes her from me. But what if she tells me no? What if she says no? What am I going to do? It will not be good if she says no to me. She may not even be interested in being a second wife. I don't know. I'm just confused. <sighs> If Chinazo declines my offer, who then will I go for? I saw you are here drinking. What do I owe this so good? Visit. Which one is your God's visit? We used to think you are our brother. Little did we know you are the enemy within. So you have come to accuse me again, eh? It is not any accusation, but a reality. Mbanaso, why are you deceitful? What have I done wrong this time around? What have you not done wrong? You have done everything wrong and don't even pretend about it that you don't know what you did. To be honest with you, I don't know what I have done wrong. In case you don't know what you have done wrong, Dotri is very sick, even up to the point of death. What? How? You are asking me how? Don't even pretend you don't know what you did that made him sick. Enough of this. Enough of this. This stupid. Restless accusation. Huh? Why must always uh, accuse me for people's or this? Why? That is because you are a bad man, Umbanaso. You are an evil man, worshipper of idols who refuse to embrace the modern way of doing things. Jukode. I will not have you misinterpret what I do. You understand me? I am a traditionalist. And I believe solely in the tradition of my people. Worship the gods my ancestors worshipped. And I worship Tuko Kabyama, the creator of heaven and earth. I have never done evil to anybody. I have never thought of doing evil to anybody. The day I think of evil against anybody, may the gods that I serve strike me dead. Amen. Amen. And listen, and listen good. They will soon come to strike you dead. Sure. Uh, can you now sit down? Let us discuss Dochi's uh, sickness. We are not here to sit any down and discuss anything with you. We are here to tell you to undo whatever you did to Dochi. Yes, listen, listen, good. You have 
Just today to do so. Just today. You will hear from us. You go, let's go. You are here drinking. Don't worry, you will hear from us. Welcome. Kinika, what is it? I don't even know how to explain this at all. Just put it forward, I will understand. What is it? I went to the palace. Okay, what is happening in the palace? Nothing. Nothing. So why did you go to the palace now? The queen sent for me. And you can't believe why she sent for me. Why did she send for me? Our queen okay. is asking me, Ginika, to get married to the king as a second wife. Okay, <laughs> wait, so wait. You know that's not true. You know now, you know that can't be true. And what reason do I have to lie to you? So why did she ask you to marry the king? I, she didn't really tell me, but I think I know why. That's why I didn't bother to ask. Okay. Why? Why? Tell me now. You know, our queen is not a woman of Okwe. Because she is not a woman of Okwe, the king is bad from praying on their journey. If he has not been going to our journey, how then is he the king? <laughs> I didn't say he doesn't go to our journey. Listen to me. I say the king is bad from standing there to pray for the people. Because he did not marry a woman of the same Ajan. That's what I said. No, no, who has been the one doing that for him. Okay. That means he's an incomplete king. Any king who does not go to Ajani to say prayer is an incomplete king now. Now you get it. The queen wants the king to be a complete king. That's why she's asking me, the daughter of the soil, to get married to the king. So they'll be able to pray on their journey. <laughs> this is complicated. So what are you going to do? I'm still thinking. And she promised to employ me in the royal palm business where I'll be earning 250,000 naira as a salary. And above. <laughs> wow. That's a big offer. So what did you tell her? I told her I would think about it. When I know there's nothing to think about. There's nothing to think about there. Eh? What do you mean there's nothing to think about? Look, of course the offer will make you reality. And 250,000 is enough to make you and your family respected in this town. So what's your advice? Take the offer. Yes. Take the offer. Is that why you're worried? to ask. Ask about what? About the girl. How did it go with her? She wants to think about it. I can't believe you're still going ahead with this. I have to. But you can still talk my brother out of this. It is his traditional right. I do not want to stand in the way of tradition, please. All this Ajani stuff is bullshit. It's nonsense. That means you have made up your mind to have a co-wife. Not really. But that is exactly what you're playing out. <sighs> Odera, I need a girl. A girl from a very, very good background. That is why I've gone ahead to arrange for someone just in case your brother decides to tow to the direction of a second wife. Even though he hasn't said anything to me, but my instinct is strong and it tells me that he will soon talk about it. I understand. You don't want to be taken on words. Exactly. 
Can I talk to my brother on your behalf? No. Why? He is king. His decision is final. Even when the decision does not go down well with you. Isn't that why I'm his wife? All I need to do is just readjust a little to the new life with a second wife. I can't believe this. I don't even know what to say to you anymore. Odera. Your Majesty, since we arrived here, you've been staring at me and smiling. <laughs> Did you bring me here to stare and smile at me all day? Well, not exactly, but with the kind of endowments that you've been blessed with, I could stare at you all day. All right, let's get down to business. Do you want to open an account with us? Well, not now. When eventually I decide to open an account, um, I'll be opening multiple accounts in your bank. Accounts? Yes. Like I said, this is not a time or place to talk about it. But when that time comes, I'll be opening multiple accounts in your bank. I cannot wait for that to happen, Your Highness. <laughs> I'd really love that. It will help my work. <laughs> Rightly so. <laughs> so let's get down to business as you requested. I'll appreciate that. Um, Chinazo, I have not been able to get you out of my mind since the day you visited the palace on a courtesy visit. I have decided but I'd love to marry you. I'd love for you to be my wife. But your Majesty, how, how is that possible? You're married with kids. I'm an African man. And I am king. And that allows me to marry as many wives as I can take care of. I'll take care of you. Hmm? I, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I can't marry you. It's okay, I understand. Uh, it's a bit too sudden, right? So if you tell me that you want to think about it, I'll be happy to oblige you at the time. Your Majesty, there is nothing to think about. There is a lot to think about. You just don't know it yet. Eh? Relax. Your Majesty, uh, I... Uh, 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 uh. I consider you a very, very important guest to me. That is why I had to come and welcome you myself. Have a seat. Thank you. I'm surprised with everything. For a young girl who has lived a very honorable life, you shouldn't be surprised. You see, you have lived the kind of life that every single girl in this community should emulate. Thank you, my queen. You are welcome. So tell me about what we discussed. What's your decision? Um, I've thought about our discussion, so um, I'm here to tell you that I've accepted to be the king's second wife. You have? Yes, my queen. That is an incredible decision that you have made. And I will make sure that you have absolutely no regrets whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that from Here. you. Queen. That's for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, my queen, there is a hurdle in all this for me to cross. A hurdle? Yes, my queen. What could that huddle be? My mother. We need to bring her in this. She has to be on the same page with us. 
my queen. And that's not a problem at all. Tell your mother that I will like to see her. Okay, my queen. <laughs> I will be in my chamber. Enjoy the rest of your stay. Thank you, my queen. So tell me, how did he go with King Charming? Mm. Stop that. <laughs> but that's the truth. He's an handsome king and nobody can take that away from him. So if I refer to him as King Charming, it won't be out of place. Can you ladies just calm down? Let me tell you how it went. Before you start to lost after somebody's husband. Okay. Tell us <laughs> when. Listening. Anyways, he proposed to make me his second wife. George has dismissed. <laughs> I knew he was coming to that. Mm -hmm. And what did you tell him? Of course I said no. But he just kept saying, go think about it. And didn't you tell him there was nothing to think about? I did. But he kept insisting that I must think about it. That is something else. So, are you going to think about it? Think about what? Being somebody's second wife. Like she said, there is nothing to think about. Come on now, you know me. Greed must be one of his characters. <laughs> why do you say that? I mean, of all the girls to roll into polygamy, why you, our beautiful friend? That's so wicked of him. Hmm. Okay, let's just take it that he's joking. He's not. But honestly, he's talking to the wrong person. Babe, this guy is going to pester you. He's not going to give up, is he? Exactly. He is so going to worry you. Oh, please. I've dealt with men like that before. His case will not be different. <laughs> oh, yeah, easy. You cannot show desperation in it. It will make her feel so important. But well, she's important to know. She is very important. And that is the reason I have been restless. From the moment I saw her. Now the problem is that I told her my intentions to make her my wife. And she told me no. But you see, I expect you to have known that she's only trying to be a woman. Yes. Are you sure about this or no? Oh, your majesty, come on. You know how these things work. Uh, were you expecting her to jump into the proposal? Well, not exactly, but I had expected, you know, an encouraging body language, you know, something that would translate into a magical moment, if you get what I mean. Uh, but she was rather stiff, you know. Uh, like I said, uh, after telling her that I'd like for her to be my wife, She told me blatantly that she's not interested. Majesty, I must tell you the truth. Her saying no means you have more work to do. And if you do your work very well, she's all yours at the end of the day. What work am I supposed to be doing? I don't understand or know. Am I supposed to be running after her like some secondary school boy? I think that I have done enough by bringing her clothes. You know, we sat uh, at a private place and I told her my intentions. Your Majesty, if truly you have decided to take a wife, a daughter of the soil, that will qualify you to pray on her journey, and she's the one you are seeing, then you have to go all out for her. If it requires you weighing her like a schoolboy, as you just said, you have to do so by all means. I 
Hello, Your Majesty. It's okay. How are you, my darling? How was your day? It was fine. Thank you. Oh, well, I was thinking that you would have called to know how my day went. Who am I to piss the king? You can tell me if you wish. Go ahead and ask me. And then I'll tell you. How was your day? My day was beautiful. You know why? No. I spent the most of my time thinking about you. Really? Yes. <laughs> Maybe you should tell me what exactly you thought about me. I thought about your beauty. I thought about your God given endowment. I thought about your poise, your confidence. How professional and hardworking you are. I thought about you wholeheartedly. Hmm. Your Majesty really had a wide range of thoughts about me today. <laughs> yes, I did. And how about you? Did you think of me? No. Although I remembered you for a second while at work, but the thought did not linger for long. It's okay. It is good that you remember that people like me exist. Huh? <laughs> it's fine. Uh, let me allow you to sleep. I need to get some sleep myself. Okay. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. All right, Your Majesty. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. I know she has a place in the palace. And that is why I, I keep thinking about her. Right here is where she belongs. Beautiful woman. Greetings. Please be seated. Thank you. I'm glad that you are here. Thank you. I want to believe that your daughter intimated you. Yes, she did. I know that you may find it very difficult to accept the offer that I made to your daughter. But I also like you to know that I am an honorable woman at heart. At least your fellow women of Okwe can testify to that. If you give your consent to your daughter, I will personally make sure that she enjoys every single moment she spends in this space as wife to the king. I'm glad this is coming from you, my queen. So does she have your consent on this? Yes, she has. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very queen. much. So the palace servant will be with you. Feel free to eat and drink whatever you like. Thank you, my queen. Thank you for coming. Thank you, my queen. <laughs> mm. Mm. Did you go with the queen? I told the queen that I will marry the king. Oh, remember me, your paradise. Of course. <laughs> You're my best now, so I'll carry you along. Afa, oh. have you told your mom? Yes. Did she agree we should go ahead with the marriage? Of course. See, at first, I pretended like I wasn't interested. Okay. But she encouraged me to marry the king. Are you serious? <laughs> See, now I know the popular song that says, Who don't like better thing? You can say that again. <laughs> oh my god. So have you met with the king? Oh. Not yet. When are you going to meet the king? I believe very soon I will meet him. So very soon, my friend will be royalty. <laughs> oh my God. I'm happy for you. Thank you very much. I never dreamt of it, but you see where life is taking me. I see. Royalty by marriage. Hmm? So very soon, I will leave this shop for you. I'm so 
I'm happy for you, but at least you give me things from the shop no now before you go now. now. Nah, that one is not a problem. So <laughs> my friend will be the next screen. <laughs> I'm happy for you, my friend. Oh, Thank please you. don't forget me. Does the king really mean it, that he wants to marry me, or is he just playing with my emotion? <laughs> I don't think he means it. Because he, he has a beautiful wife and grown-up kids. If he's talking to me about becoming his concubine, then that's understandable than being his second wife. Or is there something I need to know that he's not telling me yet? Oh well. Even if he means it, I still cannot see myself becoming a second wife. That's not a plan. And I will not walk into that trap of polygamy. Never. Um, my brothers, I suggest we start because Mbanaso may not come. Mm -mm. Mbanaso is our brother. He will come. <coughs> Sorry. Mm -mm. Sorry. T -t -t Thank you. Let's wait a little more for him. If he did not come, then we can start. Mm. I support what Toji said. I think we should wait for him. The truth is, I don't even want him to be part of this discussion. Jokodi, you got it wrong. You have to calm down and take things easy. Yeah, all right. <coughs> we oh. have uh, agreed to find who is responsible for our audio immediately after your wife's burial. And I personally, I mean it. <coughs> sorry, 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 I'm late, eh? I was actually taking care of some very, very important things. We are very urgent matters. Yeah, please. Sorry, I'm late. You are welcome. We are about starting before you came in. Oh, okay. Uh, so we can start. My brothers, um, I'm very sorry, please. I, I need him to leave my compound. Awesome. Please calm down. I mean it to. I don't want him to be part of this discussion. Let him leave my compound. I can't be in the same meeting with him. I'm not going anywhere. I am not leaving this meeting. Did I hear you say you are not going? You heard me right. So what is this madness all about? This madness must stop. And it must stop now. Ah! What evidence do you have that I, Chamber, has killed your wife and your, your boyfriend? For what? When the time comes, I will prove to you. I will give you enough evidence that you are the killer of my wife and unborn child. Prove it now! Leave your evidence, prove it now! For now, oh, shut up! For now, I don't have luxury of time, but you must leave my compound now! I you can't be in the same meeting with me. I yes. chamber, so leave your compound. You must leave. No, excuse me. Don't you, don't excuse me. Oh, no, 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 leave me alone. Don't you have no rope? Don't you have a toy van? No, come and throw me out of here. You must leave. Come and me away from here. Nonsense. No, no, come now. No, come! Nonsense. Why are you talking like that? Uh, no. Star! What uh, is Star? It's okay. Uh, Mbanasa, you have to leave. Uh, after the meeting, I will see you. Hmm? Come here, Kegama. Please. Avoid the trouble. I will leave because of you. You are trying to solve issues. You are here. No, 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 Stalking us. Well, he would have stayed. Chukwode, it's okay. All this drama is nonsense. It is not a drama. Can you imagine after killing my wife and unborn child, I'll still sit in the same meeting with him and plan her burial? I, I can't take it. 
I beg, let's discuss what you are here for. And who is that woman? Ginika's mother. And who is Ginika? The girl I am packaging for your brother. And what is the mother doing here? I have to bring her up to speed in the plan. Do you have to go this far? I'm not happy doing this, but I don't want to be taken unawares when events begin to unfold. I can't believe this. I just can't believe that you're wet on the ground for your husband to take his second wife. It's not a very nice decision. It's not a very easy task, as you can see. But then now that your brother has started to desire the things that didn't make sense to him initially, we all have to be part of it, at least for peace to reign. I wish you luck. Thank you. You didn't go to work. Okay. I would still go. You have been very late to work these days. Why? Nothing, it's just for a better reason. Are you sure? Come off it. I am the CEO, I manage the company. And I know exactly what I'm doing. Trust me. No, come on, you are old. Kaka is, I must win money today and I'll surprise my sister that I'm a good gambler. But mind you, mind you. Hey! Hey, yeah. Papa, good afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Hey, good afternoon. Yeah, Papa, 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 I thought you went to a meeting. Why? Why, why are you blocking my way? Oh, okay. I you are blocking my way. You thought. Now you are blocking my way. Papa, hold My friend, let me Papa, go into my on. house. Papa, hold on. Hold on. What was it? I, I have been thinking about these things. I have been thinking all these things and I want to talk to you about it. What is it? Please, I want to enter my house. Papa, you know seeing it. Seeing what? The, the accusation being levied against you by your brothers, are you not seeing it? <laughs> is it not affecting you? Why should it affect me? Listen, we have discussed this thing several times. Time and time. Over again. Eh? And I told you, I'm ready to appear anywhere they call me. Let them summon me anywhere, anytime. I'm ready to appear. And I'm ready to swear on anything. I'm ready to do anything to prove my innocence. Papa, this is this is affecting us. You are saying it's not your business all the time, but it's your business. But it's because it's affecting us, your children. We cannot go anywhere without people calling us names that your father is a wicked man, your father is an evil man. We cannot do anything with our friends outside there. I have not told you it's not my business. What is not my business is the fact that they are not ready to bring it on. You understand? If they are ready to bring it on, I am ready to face them. But because they are not ready to bring it on, and you are asking me to go ahead and bring it on, I cannot do that. It's not my business, okay? So what I will do is, anytime they are ready, I am ready. I will swear on whatever, at whatever deity, before whatever deity, on whatever object, Whatever tool, whatever ancestral tool they bring, I am ready to swear. You understand me? To prove my innocence. But then they also should be ready to swear on the same tool or before the same deity before which I swear. You understand? So that is it. Papa, no, you no, 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 no. Bring it on, no. I don't have to bring it on. It's not, it doesn't happen that way. Eh? Papa, you bring hey, it on. Hey, listen to me. This is not about Jesse and Manu. Eh? This is something different, something spiritual. Eh? This is the things, well, sorry, this, this is the things that, that, that control life itself. Eh? Papa, you bring it on. Shut up there, it's not about chasing among you. Do your chasing among you and keep quiet. One day I'll win money in this house and I'll surprise everybody. That day you people know that I'm a good gambler. Don't even know the one that I'm suffering from. If it's mind you or what Papa is saying in this house. Now that the barrier has been concluded, what we should be thinking about is how to take out Umbanazo. Oh, how do I make you understand that 
I don't like talking about that man. You don't like talking about him, but yes. he has become an issue. We must talk about him. Talking about him is waste of energy and the time. That is to you. If you don't talk about him, now tell me, how do you want us to stop him from further attacking us? I have my plan. Mm -hmm. You have a plan? Yes, I have my plan. So tell us about it. Um, my plan is private. Hmm? All you need to do is sit down, watch, and see me execute my plans. Uh, Chuko, the listen and listen good. If we must defeat him, Banasa, we must work as a team. Yes, you are right. Umbanaso is so powerful that we have to team up before we could be able to defeat him. We can't defeat him as an individual. Sula, tell us, how do you want us to take care of him? Um, what happens is that after my wife's burial, I will sneak into his house and strangle him to death. Yes, that is murder. And count me out. I wouldn't want to be part of that. But that is the best way to take him out of the way. Eh? If you let him live, the more he lives, the more people he kills. You are right. Hmm. You may be caught. And if that happens, you know what the implications are. Ah, don't worry about that. I'll do a little job. And nobody will trace his death to me. Chokrode, uh, my brother. I'm of the opinion that you take him before the elders in council for them to make him swear before the staff of open. Good idea. Yeah. I don't think that's the best way. Eh? You know the manner of man Banaso is. Manaso will defile the staff of Okwe. No man possesses such power. Immediately after your wife's burial, we come together and deliberate on it. Um, so, if he is found guilty, as I know he will be, what do we do to him? Ah, then the law of the land will take its course. The elders in council will handle the issue the way it is supposed to be handled. They will treat him the way such a man will be handled. That's just all. It's okay, you can sit down. <laughs> You're welcome. Everybody. Thank you. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long. Uh, well, you kind of did, but I'm not complaining. My sincere apologies. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, Your Highness. You're here now. That's what's important. Yes, I am here. That is because you, you've asked me to come out, that you have something to tell me. Yes, Your Majesty. Um, I have a message for you. Slow down. I hope it's not a message that will break my heart. <laughs> not at all, Your Majesty. Um, I have thought about your proposal to take me as a second wife. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you that I accept. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Dala. Thank you. I hope I'm not dreaming, eh? No, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. This is no dream. Please. Even if I'm dreaming, please don't wake me up. <laughs> eh? Don't wake me up. Thank you. My pleasure, Your Majesty. Tell me what you want me to do to reciprocate this gesture. <laughs> Anything at all. Anything. Nothing, Your Majesty. Are you sure? Um, there might be something. Let's hear it. Do you remember how you said you can make time stand still? I think this is a great <laughs> moment to freeze. <laughs> okay. I'll try. Right? <laughs> Majesty, yes. 
you sounded so happy over the phone. And here I am, looking at you. Still beaming with smiles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something is really getting my king excited. You, are not, know it, you are not far from the truth, you know. Of course, I am excited. Chinazo, uh, the young lady I told you yes. that I would like to marry. We spoke. And I'm happy to tell you that she has agreed to marry me. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> this is the biggest news of today. Yes, it is. It is. It is a good news. Very, very good news. Uh, Your Majesty, yes. don't you think that this calls for celebration? Oh no, we are going to celebrate. Uh, but let's not get carried away by the euphoria of our acceptance. For we have one more hurdle to scale. Her wishes. That is getting my wife, the Queen, to be part of this. Your Majesty, this is not a hurdle. I told you before that your wife, the Queen, expressly promised me that she will not object to you marrying a second wife. I know you said that, um, but you see, I have come a very long way with the Queen. Yes. We met in our 20s, fell in love, did the right thing. And we got married. I have known her more than half of my life. I am struggling with sitting down and having this conversation with her. I feel like I'm betraying her love. But I have to do the needful. Do you understand my dilemma? Yes, Your Majesty. I understand your situation perfectly well. I know how it feels. But, Your Majesty, you have no option than to tell her. Since she has agreed in the past that she will not obstruct you from marrying a second wife, then it is no longer a big deal. On the other part, once you are doing what will make you to feel the real king, of our kingdom, your majesty, there's no problem. I like to hear you talk like this, so no, which is quite encouraging to think that um, you did not agree with me in the beginning, but now I see that you're heavily involved. <laughs> <laughs> well, your majesty, as long as the king has taken the decision, that would not affect the land in any way. We are duty bound to support him. Mm -hmm. Even though we may not totally agree with the decision. It is fine not to agree now. Later, you all will agree. <laughs> <laughs> Igwe! What did I not? Hello, sunshine. What are you doing here? I don't understand. The question is not difficult to understand. It is straight and simple. What are you doing here? I missed my baby. And I'm here to spend quality time with her. My you better crawl back to wherever you're coming from and tell them she's not seen me. Sunshine, did you just walk out on me? She didn't even care to look at the book. Oh, 
please. I don't have time for this. Sunshine. Uh, Sunshine, I understand you're mad at me. Yes. But I've come to put things straight. Agreed, I've offended your sensibilities in the past. I've not been the best of man to you. Yes. But I'm a changed man now. And believe me, things will begin to move smoothly. Emeka, as you can see, I'm very tired. I had a very long day. I just want to be left alone. Oh, what am I doing? Let me massage you. Uh, are you not a clown? Please just leave. I told my parents about you and they are eager to meet you. It's too late. I don't want to see them. What? Yes, you heard me. I don't want to meet them. You've always wanted to meet them. That's all in the past. Sunshine is... There's something I need to know. <sighs> Sunshine. I, 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 I understand. I understand. Oh, please. That depends on what you want to know. Sunshine, everything. Just tell me. Here, your ring. Take. I don't have time for gossip. What's going on? Ah. Wait a minute. You mean you accepted to marry the king? Yes. Do you have a problem with that? It's a lie. You are hearing directly from the right source and you still doubt it. What's going on with you, Nazo? I thought you never wanted to marry this king. Down your voice. Emeka is inside. What's he doing here? What kind of question is that? Isn't he a boyfriend? A valueless boyfriend is not worthy to be called a boyfriend. You call him valueless. The thing here is our girlfriend is very much in love with that guy. Who? I don't think I still love him. What? What did you say? Yes. Oh, wait. What, what's going on here? It appears I'm the only one lost here. What's happening? Well, nothing much, my dear. It's just I have decided to move on with the king. But this is against what we've been discussing about the king. Look, at this point, just forget about what we discussed about the king. All right? I changed my mind. Oh. Okay. So, so what's going to happen to Emeka? You shouldn't be asking such questions. He would go back to where he crawled out from. Mirabel. This is not fair. You should be saying that to Emeka, who left her for weeks if not months. <sighs> Come on, girl. Just lock up and move on with your life. Enjoy yourself. Are you kidding me? <laughs> of course I have. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, you sent for me. You don't look yourself. What is wrong? My King, what is going on with you? If you give me a listening ear, I will appreciate it. My love, you are, you are beginning to scare me. There was nothing to be scared about. Then speak to me in a language that I can understand. Oh, yeah. Isyama. You know how far we have come. You are the love of my life. I have loved you with all of my heart. 
You are the love of my youth and I can say that my marriage to you has been the best thing that has happened to me as a man but not as a king. I mean that you compliment me. I mean that you make me feel like a man. I mean that you give me joy. It makes me happy. Every time I look over my shoulder and I can see you by my side as my wife. Joy. Joy unspeakable. However, you would agree with me that there is a lacuna in my life as king. And I want to fill up that vacuum. You want to be able to pray on the Ajani yourself because you are no longer comfortable asking the Unu to do that on your behalf. Exactly. But you also understand that the only way I can do that is by marrying another wife. A woman from Okwe. I know. And honestly, my king, I do not intend to stand in your way. You know that I have tried to resist this all of these years. I told you what the consequences would be if we get married. See how far we have come. Our kids are grown. Ono who has done a good job standing in for me and doing the needful but I am losing my mind. The people are coming after me. The youths of Okwe call me an incomplete king because I cannot stand at the sacred place of Ajani because I married a woman that is not from my land. They say that the queen is not a daughter of the soil. I chose you over the demands upon me as king. I chose you over the desires of my people. But now I need you from losing my mind. Allow me to marry a woman whose chi is linked to Ajani of Okwe so that I can do that which I need to do as king. You know that I have loved you unreservedly with all of my heart. You are the love of my life and nothing is going to change it. But the people of Okwe are mocking your husband. They are laughing at your king. I need your blessings so that I am able to do the needful for our people so that I'll be remembered as a great king when I am gone because I beg you please What is it? There's a big problem. And if it's not handled, ha, I will lose completely. What is it? 
Uchina just left my shop moments ago, talking about how he's going to come to my family and make his intention known. What? How? I don't know. I don't know. Well, you never told me your relationship with him has gotten to that extent. It has. Babe, now. I'm not aware. I thought you both were just male friends. Mm, yes, we were just friends, but you know now one thing led to the other. We just got committed to each other. Nothing. Ginika, should I understand that? That what? That both of you have gone down. <laughs> ah! Ginika. Ginika, no now. You don't fuck up. Oh. And that's why I'm here for you to advise me. He's very serious. <laughs> okay. I would advise you keep him at arm's length for now, until the king pays your bright price. Huh. That will make him suspicious and I, it will blow things out of proportion. I don't want that. Kinika, keeping him at arm's length does not mean you should avoid him completely. Just tag him along. Is it going to work? That's the only way. That's the only way to keep him off. Until the king pays your bright price. I was thinking I should open up to him so that you, you will stop thinking that maybe things will work between us. No, Ginika, no now. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. What if the king does not marry you? God forbid. What do you mean? Ha! The queen is the one arranging me for him, so why won't it? It will work. I have faith. Ginika, look, I'm a realist. And that's why I don't get hot. You have to keep him low. Don't tell him anything about the king. So that when the king does not marry you, you have someone to fall back to. But the king will marry me, I just believe. He will marry me, just leave. Oh, babe, I'm confused. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just leave low for now. Have you eaten? I'm not hungry. You know the cost of it. Where am I going to My darling, I want you to know that this move is also in the interest of our family name. In the interest of this lineage. When I am long gone, it should not be said that I was an incomplete king. Or the Roma. I want to be a complete king. I want to have complete control and give total service to my people without limitations and inhibitions. I know that this hurts you, my love, but I am counting on your understanding. Please. It's okay. You are a man and a king at that. Our tradition as Africans permits you to take the number of wives that you are comfortable with and I am not going to put an end to that tradition. Are you saying that I can go ahead and take a second wife? Yes. Is this from your heart. From the deepest part of it, yes. Thank you. Ha. Huh. Now let us move to the next level. What level? My husband. You have made a demand to take another wife. I would like to demand that you allow me bring you a woman of Ogwe that you will make your wife. I, my darling wife, that would have been possible had I not made a choice of the woman that I want for a second wife. Huh? 
my husband, my king. My lord, you cannot deny your wife two things at the same time. I am the one who will leave under the same roof with this woman and you already know the issues attached to polygamy. I understand that. And to curb these issues, let me bring you a woman that I can cohabit with. Like I said before, if I had not made a choice, it would have been easy. But I have made this choice and I have spoken to her about being my wife. And she has agreed. I can't go back on my word. I am king. Who is she? Her name is China Azo. The bank manager? You know her. That one. Yes, she's from Okwe. <laughs> she's from Okwe. <laughs> I would like to say this respectfully and softly to my husband. You will not marry that bank. Oh, you take my word to her bank and ask her to keep it in the safest lockers for you. You will not marry her. That's what I'm telling you. No, you don't understand it. The pink one, I think I actually like the flower in it. You know, it's just a cream and... Uh, my thing! Uh, excuse me, I'll tell you about this. It's quite obvious the meeting didn't go out well. Well, it, it, it started well and ended terribly. He finally opened up to me that he wants to take a second wife. So, Ese Okwe wants to have another wife. Well, he just confirmed it to me himself. You know, I am sure it is all about the Achani nonsense. I mean, I have discussed this with him. And I thought we had an understanding. My husband feels... Like he's not a complete man. He, he feels like he's not a king indeed. Like there's this vacuum in him that must be filled. And for this vacuum to be filled, he has to take another wife and outlast. So since you accepted, what's, I mean, what then is the problem? The problem is in the choice that he has made. I told him to allow me bring him a woman of all queens that he will make a bride, and he refused. The woman he has chosen is not good for me. Wow. In other words, he has a bride of his choice, right? Right. So who is she? Someone that I cannot see myself cohabiting with peacefully. Tinazo. What? That's neat to it. Did I ask the guards never to let her come into this palace again? You see what I complained about the other day? These girls will stop at nothing to get what they want. My darling. This time, it is going to be a failed mission. Because I will not let her Come in here. Hmm. Hello, Your Majesty. Hello, no. Are you free to talk? Yes, I am. Go ahead. 
All right, I have just um, told my wife about my plans to take a second wife. Oh, wonderful. That's good. So, how did it go? She did not kick against it. Beautiful. Oh, that's great. Congratulations, Onyezi. Because you are already on your way to becoming a complete king. Uh, oh no, oh no, slow down. We cannot celebrate yet. Why? There's a little twist. Onyezi, I don't understand you. What twist is that? My wife is of the opinion that if I would have to take a second wife, that she would be the one to suggest to me who to marry. Onyezi, she really said that to you? Yes, she did, and I don't know how to handle this. Well, Onyezi, I must tell you, eh? I don't think there's any problem there. Yes, there's no problem there. She has allowed you to take a woman of both ways as your second wife. So, allow her to make the choice of who will come in as your second wife. It becomes a win-win situation for the two of you. So what happens to Chinazo? She's the one that I have fallen in love with. Your Majesty, please. We are not talking about love or feelings here. Eh? We are talking about you, the king, becoming a complete king. It has to make sense, all right? Chinazo is the one that I want. She is going to be my wife. Of what use would it be that I take a second wife, that I, I take another wife, if I'm not into her? Listen, I am calling to let you know my position on this matter, all right? The queen may decide to call you. She might even decide to pay you a visit. Please do not derail. Remember, I have chosen Chinazo, and that is what I want. Well. As my king wishes. Best, I wish you best of luck. Thank you. Thank you too. The wife is not a woman for me. But we have installed her as an Osuluezi. Okwe Kingdom. And to the best of my knowledge, she has done very well as a queen. Let it not be that the king is trying to break the queen so that he can impose anything on her. Nobody breaks the queen of Okwe Kingdom and lives happily. <coughs> Ndidi, what is it this time around? Ah, God, wait, see, the king is about to take a second wife. Shut up! Why? Why are you asking nonsense? Huh? Why are you acting as if you don't know the reason he's about to do that? Uh, what is the queen saying about it? <laughs> what would you have her say? She just have to accept, knowing fully where the king has already made up his mind. Um, did it. Honestly, you're not making any sense. Because it only takes a woman who doesn't love her husband to accept the second wife. <laughs> See, Angelica, it's not about loving the king now. It's about being objective and facing reality. And what reality are you talking about? <laughs> okay, let me tell you. A woman who gets married to the king should already be aware that the king is eligible enough to pick as much wife as he can, or as he should. Ha. Hmm. Let me even tell you, the queen even suggested herself that she will be responsible for getting or choosing a bride for the king. But guess what? <laughs> the king objected. He said, no, this is the beginning of trouble in this palace. Okay. Hey. You see now?
the love of my youth or the deal be ma or malicham be gone I'm appealing to your conscience for I know how you feel I know that you are angry with me but I assure you that if you listen to me with a good ear if you listen to me with the purest of hearts you would understand where I'm coming from and then we can begin together to walk towards the healing that we need at a time like this. That is where I have a problem. Why are we suddenly talking about healing? We are okay as a family. But I am not okay. As king, I am not okay. The youths of Okoye are complaining. They call me an incomplete king because I do not do all that I am supposed to do. As king. They mock me for not being able to stand at the sacred place of our journey. Every time the need arises, they are beginning to call Ono the real king. I am afraid that these people someday just might look at me in the face and say that I am not their king. I need a woman. A woman from Okwe to put an end to all of those problems. Please, I beg you to understand. Philip, you are not getting the point. Philip, why have you refused to see the point with me? That you have chosen to marry another isn't a problem. The one you chose is. Have we now come to a point where you address me by my name? You address me as Philip. I am sorry, my lord. It will not happen again. Chinazo is a good girl. A very good girl. And she is going to be loyal to you. That means she is going to respect you. That means you do not know her. I may not know everything about her. Sometimes it's almost impossible to know everything about a human being, but the much that I know attests to the fact that she's a responsible young lady who is going to come to the palace and give you your place because she recognizes that there is a queen in the palace already. She will respect you. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Why? Why do you insist that she must be the one? Because I like her. Because she is the one that my heart pants for. This other person that you're trying to suggest, I don't know her. She is a good girl. And from a good home too. I don't want another person. I don't want to know another person. Do you understand? Please understand. It is just so humiliating that you have taken a decision before even Letting me in. I love you're beginning to twist this thing. That is the truth. It's not the truth. If I cannot make an impute in something that affects me directly, of what use am I? I don't know. I 
darling wife. There is no need for this back and forth. We do not need to argue over this. Chinazo is going to come here and she is going to be loyal to you. Her loyalty does not lie with me. I am not her husband. You are my king. When do you intend to bring in your new bride? As soon as possible. All the logistics to bring her over are in place. I beg you not to bring her in immediately. Give me the time to at least inform our kids. Please. That's fair enough. When did you go to the kitchen, Sunshine? The question is, what are you doing in my kitchen? <sighs> Cooking for you. Did I tell you I was hungry or that you should cook for me? Uh, Sunshine, you don't need to tell me you're hungry and I don't think I need your permission to cook for you, do I? You once told me you can't cook. So what's this? Sunshine, that was an old me. Face a new me now, and I promise you're going to enjoy this meal. Sunshine, you enjoy this meal, bet me. You enjoy, I'm preparing it so, so, so good. Everything intact. Hey, sunshine. Food is ready. I'm not hungry. I specially prepared this food for you. Can I ask you again? Did I ask you to prepare me a meal? No, you didn't. But well, it's only natural. I know you are a very busy woman and I know you had a hectic day in the office and it's only natural you come back home famished. Hence, I prepared the meal for you. I'm not hungry. Go eat your food. Why are you treating me like this? Does it hurt to be treated like a stranger? <sighs> of course it hurts. Good. Because what you feel right now is only half of what I felt when you dealt with me for no reason. Sunshine. But I said I'm sorry. And I promised to make things work again. Please call me Chinazo. I'll appreciate that. Why are you treating me like a stranger? Sunshine, I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry from the depth of my heart. I'm a changed man. And I'll make amends. Emeka, you were not only bad to me in the past. You were evil to me. Sunshine, to ace human, 
and to forgive us the fine. Please, I'm sorry from the depth of my heart. Sorry is not enough. Excuse me. Sunshine. I mean, what's responsible for this? For this change of attitude? I mean, what's responsible? Yeah. Hi, brother. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome home. Thank you. Um, what is going on? Well, um, I don't know. How do you mean you don't know? I just left for school last week and mom called me to come back now. So? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Is father okay? Oh. Well, father is alright. When last did you see him? I saw him this morning. And when I saw him, he looked sound. Father is wealthy. Is there something you're not telling me? Chris says, you're my only sister. My lovely sister. If anything is wrong, I, the prince, will be the first person to tell you about it over the phone. Okay, um, where is mother? She should be in her room. All right, I'll go see her now, okay? All right, very well done. I'll join you later. Right. See you around. All right. Yeah. Where is that? What are you doing? I'm cleaning the car, sunshine. Aneka, I really don't understand all of this. Did I tell you this car needed washing? No, you didn't. But well, I saw the car dirty, so I decided to keep it clean. Look, you need to stop all this. Like I told you, I have moved on. You have to move on as well. Sunshine, I begged you all throughout the night. Oh, you locked your heart. Why? But the records are forgiving you, okay? But being in a relationship with you is what I will never do again. Sunshine. Sunshine, I beg you from the depth of my heart. I know I've offended your sensibilities. I know I can't deny that. But please, I need another chance. There I are no more chances for you. Emeka, you have exhausted all your chances with me. Get that in your head. There's nothing left. Sunshine, if you leave me, I will die. Oh, I will die. That's not a problem. But if you want to die, not in this compound. Go elsewhere and die in peace. Uh, my, my, my parents called earlier and asked when I will come with you. That's fine. What you will do now is call them back. Tell them I'm not coming to see them. Help me with the gates. It's very obvious she truly wants to leave me. Will that ever be possible? It's very obvious Sunshine wants to leave me. Okay. What I want to tell both of you has to stay between us. No one else must hear. Let people just watch and see things unfold. Your father is taking a second wife. What? What? Why? I have given my consent. I say. And I want you to do the same. Never! Mm -mm. It will never happen, that's what I said. No, mother. Father is not bringing in another woman into this palace. Kiroka, 
Your father is king. He's at liberty to marry quite a number of wives that he deems fit. We cannot contest that with him. And I am here as prince to contest that. Other kings can marry as many wives as they wish, but definitely not my father. That will never happen in this palace. As in, I have given my consent and I need both of you to do the same. Listen, this is my fight. All I want you to do is be law abiding. Don't even talk to your father about this. Mm -mm. Mother, this is not just your fight. Your fight is our fight. So we're going to fight this fight together. Mother, let me tell you something. If you are not fighting this fight, I, the prince, will fight. And I'm not just fighting the fights for myself. I will fight for you as my mother. Because you are a good woman. And trust me, we must win this fight. Exactly. Is away. I am disappointed in you. Adara, I want to ask you a question. And what question would you be possibly asking me? What is wrong with me taking a second wife? There is nothing wrong with you taking a second wife. The problem is that the woman you want to marry belongs to the street. No. She is a banker. Oh, please. Banking took her off the street, but the real has to belongs to the street. You appear to know more about her than I do. Not that much. But from the little that I've seen, it is quite obvious to me that she accepted to marry you with sinister objective. What are you talking about? What sinister objective? You can't see it. No, seriously, bro. You, you can't see that this woman wants to exploit you. No, she is coming here to compliment me. She is coming to make me a complete king. Now that is something that I've always longed for. Hmm? If you would listen to me, I would advise you to talk the part of your wife and save yourself from grudging problems all in the name of getting married to a banker. Odera, my mind is made up. There is no going back. What do I do? I love him more than the king, for he has hurt me beyond measure. What if he's just pretending to me now? What if he has come back to toy with my heart again and then leave at the end? Can I risk it? No, I can't. I can't. I'm moving on with the king. I can't just risk it with a maker anymore. We need to talk. Why are you back home? Are you not supposed to be in school? I came back because we need to talk. I see that uh, you are both agitated. It's okay. 
I'm listening. Father, is it true that you want to take a second wife? Do you have a problem with it? Father, it's not about me having a problem with that or not. The question is why you want to get a second wife? Well, first and foremost, I'm an African. And then I am an African king. So that also allows me to marry as many wives as I can control and take care of. Did my mother do anything wrong to you? No, your mother has been a blessing, actually. Uh, your mother is the best woman that I know. A beautiful soul. Your mother can never do anything wrong to me. Then why do you want to marry a second wife? Well, because I have just explained that to you. I am a king. I am allowed to marry as many wives as I can. With all due respect, Father, you just said it all. You just said that my mother is a good woman and we have been living happily as one family. So, I would say that your opinion to get a second wife is a no. Exactly. Father, you are not bringing any woman into this house. And that is fine now. Uh. It's okay. I've had enough of your rats. Just uh, leave my presence. We will leave, Father. But have it in mind that you're not bringing another woman into this house. You go back to school. Back to school. In fact, this is what I never wanted in my life. To work in a palace where there's war. The king has to apply high level of discretion. Else things will blow out of proportion and the entire royal family will be ruined. Now I know why Princess Nkiru came back from school in such a short period. Isn't that what I've been saying? Hmm? Now, the prince and the princess are threatening to stop their father at all cost from getting another wife. <laughs> Why are you listen sleep for those two? They can't do anything unless they want to suffer all the days of their lives. The king wouldn't be that mean to deal with his children in such manner. <laughs> you are talking as if you don't know it's okay. Listen, he would deal ruthlessly with anyone who dares to stop him from doing whatever he wants to do. She doesn't know. Even if they are his children, it's okay does not send anybody. What is the queen saying in all this? That is why I'm telling us that the prince mm -hmm. and the princess can do absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah, the queen that should lead the charge has already succumbed. She's the reason I smell well actually. Because nobody knows the reason for her urgent approval. Well, are you suspecting there is something beneath her acceptance? If you are not thinking towards that direction, it can only mean one thing, which is you do not know who that woman is. Yes, because she will accept her in. She will let her husband bring her in. Hmm? Then she will clinically murder that woman. Nobody will even have a trace of what happened to her. The lady will die a natural death and will be forgotten so fast. That sounds so scary. I'm telling you, I won't be shocked if we are arrested for this. Nobody can arrest anyone from the Palace of Okwe. <laughs> I'm just smelling war because if the new wife dies, 
her family will start killing the palace members one by one. And that will be devastating. I was specific when I said no one should speak to your father about this. Who sent you? Mother, we sent ourselves. Yes. And the bottom line is, he's not bringing any other woman into this palace. Stop making such utterances and bring your voice down when you're speaking to your mother. What is wrong with you? Do you think you can stop him? Do you think both of you can stop the Ezeokwe of Okwe Kingdom? This is his palace, his house. He is the captain of this ship. Do you understand? I disagree with you, mother. This is our father's house. And we have equal right in this house as him. Both of you, who do you think you are? Do you think that you can stop the Ezeokwe of Okwe Kingdom? He is the Ezeokwe of Okwe Kingdom. And we are the sons of Okwe Kingdom. Yes. Mother, this is our fight. Both of you just disrespected and disregarded my husband. I want you to go back there and tender your unreserved apologies. Mother, come on. Go on, Mother. Why are you asking the impossible? It is not impossible. And it's in why I will say this one last time. Bring down your voice when you are talking to me. That man is my husband. My king. Your king. Go in there and apologize to him or get out of my sight. As I'm going back to school now. Young lady, stop right there. I thought you said it was too late for you to go back to school. Yes, I did. But it's obvious the both of you don't want me in this palace. Father just asked us to leave his chambers. And here you are asking us to leave your sight. So, let me go back to school. And I'm going with her. If you make one more move, you will piss me off even more. And you know what that means. That man. That king. Was first my husband. Before both of you came in and he became your father. You will not insult my husband. And I take sides with you. Both of you leave my room this minute. Go to him and apologize. You know what, mother? It's obvious you're not seeing this from our own point of view. Even if father wants to marry another woman, she is not going to stay in the same palace with you. Shut up. Shut up. Your mouth. That is not your decision to make. Ezoku is the king. This is his palace. You are his children, and I am his wife, and he is the captain of the ship. He has the final decision. He will lose it. Oh, he will lose it and crush on both of you. I don't want anything to happen to you. Go to your father and apologize to him. My king, my love, the crown over my head, the husband of my youth, I want you to be happy. I want you to be fulfilled as a king and as a man. I want you to rule your people with a good heart. That is why I have come to, to tell you that you can follow your heart. I 
I know that you're hurt. But this is not intentional. From the depths of my heart, I want you to know that I am sorry. For whatever pain this is causing you. It's okay. I I only wanted to contribute just a little to your happiness. I didn't know that you had already carved a path for yourself. You have always contributed to my happiness, you see. You have always been my rock. What is happening now does not negate the fact that you have been an excellent wife. One that has given all to her marriage. One that has loved her husband with all of her heart. I love you, baby. I love you even more. But this is not deliberate. I have to do this. What is happening is me yielding to the demands of our tradition and culture. It will never change how I feel about you, baby. No one is going to take any of my entitlement from me, correct? My queen, I swear to you on the revered staff of Okwe Kingdom, the symbol of authority and power of our people, that no one will take what belongs to you. You have been with me half of my life. And I am not doing this out of selfishness. For with you I have everything that I need. I also swear on the sacredness of your queenship that my life be cut short if I ever contemplate taking from you that which you're entitled to because I'm bringing a different woman into the palace. My love, you don't have to come this far. But I need to give you the assurance that you need to understand that I love you from the depths of my heart. Miss Yama. Thank you. I hope that you'll be nice enough to welcome her when she comes to the palace. Before I had this conversation with you, I already made up my mind to welcome her. So yes, I will. Once again, you are my rock. Thank you for making it possible that I become a complete king. Thank you. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you. It's not me you need. You need Jesus in your life. Jesus. 
Why are you still angry with me? I am not angry at you. Okay? But I will never let you touch me again. Ever. Why? Because my heart no longer belongs to you. That means your heart belongs to another man? I said, let me be. You know what? Hmm. I can see that you want to be alone tonight in this bedroom. So I'll leave for you. Sunshine. Yeah, let me leave you. What will I do to make her understand I know? I'm a changed man. Why is she treating me like this? Lord have mercy. I bring to you greetings and all. You are welcome. Thank you very much, sir. So, what can I do for you? Uh, you know, I gathered from a reliable source that your own man that is very close to the king. As a matter of fact, it was also reported that you are the only man who can change the king's decision. I don't know who must have told you that. Hmm? But I will never ever allow anyone bring ridicule upon the throne of Oko Kingdom. Ezo hmm? Okwe is an institution. You understand that? We can only advise, but he takes his decision when he wants to. Well, let me let me go straight to the point. Uh, the king is trespassing on my vineyard. I want you to advise him to keep off. Vineyard. Mm. You need to educate me better what you mean by saying that the king is trespassing on your vineyard. Oh, oh no. The king wants to take what belongs to me. Chinazo, it's for me and me alone. Please, make the king understand. You see, young man, men who are men do not argue with kings on issues that concern women. When the woman has found her way to the conscious being, This must be an exception because I have spent my time and resources in building this relationship and I don't want any king to spoil the relationship for me. Let me tell you something. Hmm? I never wanted the king eh, to have anything to do with marrying the second wife. Why? Because God has blessed him with an exceptional wife. Hmm? He is the one who wants to marry a second wife so that he can become that complete king that he has always wanted to be. To enable him to pray on Ajahnle for his people, for the people of the kingdom. So, young man, if that woman that the king has found that he wants to marry is your woman, eh? Go to the king and tell him the same thing. Why, you know? Why? Because, because I don't want him hmm, to see as if I am in any way against his decision. The king must be allowed hmm, to take his decision. That is why he's a king. Hmm. Yes. Oh, no. I wanted to meet the king myself on this account. But I felt first, let me come meet you because from what I heard, I understand you can influence the king's decision. 
but it's very obvious you cannot do it. Hence, I'll pull the bull by the horn. I, Emeka, will meet the king on my own. I'll meet him one on one. I'll tell him to leave my wife for me. Leave, let him leave my girl. Okay? The king should be king. Should be the king. Good luck. If Igwe had listened to me, things would have gotten to the to this level. That somebody has come now and alleging that the wife he wants to marry belongs to him. To fear. Hmm. Seriously, I don't get it. Why did you give up easily? Whatever, I don't give up. Well, you just did. I only want peace to reign. You want peace to reign this way? Come off it. Do you realize that if you continue like this, your rights will be taken away from you and you will be trampled upon? Nobody tramples upon the queen and no one is going to take my right from me. <laughs> on the contrary, you just did. Come on. Even if my brother wanted to get a second wife, certainly not that bitch from the street. Your brother speaks highly of her. What do you expect? A man who is under the influence of a beautiful girl. Do you expect him to speak ill of her? Dara, you just, you just succeeded in getting me jealous right now. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. Let sleeping dogs lie. I already made up my mind to cohabit with her in peace when she comes in as the king's wife. And what if she comes with a bag of trouble? Then I will gladly give her a trailer load of it. <laughs> wow. Is that supposed to be a promise? It is not a promise. It is just the way things will be. Hmm. Yeah, that I want peace to reign doesn't mean that I will not open my arms wide enough for trouble should one ray its ugly head. You just mean my deal with those words of yours. Your Majesty, as you have made up your mind to marry this lady, I feel you should take a step further by engaging the services of Dibiafa. Why do I need to engage the service of Dibiafa? For him to tell me that the beautiful woman I saw is no longer beautiful. Your Majesty, it is not all about beauty. It is deeper than that. This woman is going to be married to the king. A situation that will expose her to lots and lots of royal dynamics. A deep is needed to look into her spiritual being and tell us if her spirit connects with your spirit in any way. Oh no, I'd like to put an end to this meeting because it's taking us. This is not why I invited you here. I'm getting married to a physical being and not her spirit. I invited you here because I need you to set machineries in motion because you're going to be the one to lead other men in council to her place for her bride price. That is what we should be talking about. Are you saying you are not even bothered with the fact that other known men have gone down with this lady? Why should I be bothered with details like that? Your Majesty, a woman who is to be married to the king is like a goddess, a sacred authority. 
if it can be proven that other men may have enjoyed her as a woman, then she's no longer good for the king. Oh no, this is not 1926. This is the 21st century. I would not reduce myself to that kind of reasoning and judgment. I don't live in the past. I'm here now. I have a family. I have a daughter who is of age, and I'm certain that she has a boyfriend. And I'm also certain that she might have been sexually involved with her boyfriend out of passion and a great desire to engage with her man. What am I going to do? Throw my daughter away? Tell me. Oh no. What a young lady does before she meets her husband stays in the past. I don't her husband's business. Huh? Whatever Chinazo has done with other men, I do not know about. I did not witness. I do not want to know. I am dealing with the woman of today. The one that I interface with. The one that has shown me so much love and so much care. And I want to make her my second wife. Oh no, I believe that I have made my point. Get the other elders together. Let us forge ahead. Is this not my bag? What is this? I don't want to believe China Zod did this. How can she bring out my bag? Umuhemelia, did I do anything wrong? This is a joke taken too far. And I, I, won't, I, won't, I won't tolerate it. Keho! How can she bring out my bag outside without my consent? Ow, ow! Let me call. Switched off. Chinazo, you've done your worst, right? You've done your worst. Come on, Chinazo, me leha. Come on, come here. Yadiba. Yadiba. Greetings, Your Majesty. Kinika, how are you? I'm fine, Your Majesty. Have you come with your curriculum vitae? Where is it? Oh. Are the photocopies of your result in here as well? Yes, my queen. Okay, you may leave. Thank you, my friend. Both of you sheath your swords. Sheath your swords for a peaceful coexistence. The Father's word is supreme. We cannot challenge him. 
We can only make humble suggestions. Do you understand? Mother, it baffles me how you've made up your mind to have a co-wife. There comes a time in every man's life when he will have to face reality. That is what we are facing now. I mean, I'm tired of the whole thing. I don't even know what to say. Isn't when you are a man. When you grow up and become king, you will understand better what I am trying to say. Your father is a man in authority. His word is final. And we cannot, for any reason, contest it. I'm equally a realist, mother. I understand that polygamy is African way of life. But we should not forget that it has destroyed so many homes. Let's not forget that. As in, uh, to the best of my knowledge, no one plans for polygamy. The situation in this family just buttresses the fact. We have to approach this as very, very intelligent people. Mother, what if this woman in question comes into this family with the intentions of causing trouble? Don't even go there. Because if she tries it, I will give her trouble pro max. If she tries to make any trouble in this family, I personally, we give our troubles. Thank you, Roka. To every human, there is a good and a bad side. Do not also forget that she may walk into the palace with a very high level of maturity and respect. Do not shut that. Uh, we are here to apologize for the way we spoke to you yesterday. We have pondered over everything. It's not right to speak to you in that manner. We are sorry, Father. It will not happen again. I see. <laughs> My question would be that if your mother had not admonished the both of you over your very insulting remarks towards me, your father. Would you two have found it in you to come here and apologize? My love, please do not make it even harder for them. The most important thing is that they have realized their mistakes and are apologizing. Have they? Yes. As a matter of fact, Father, we have given our consent for you to go ahead and marry the woman that will complete your skin. We now understand why, Father. You need her to be fulfilled on all fronts as king. And you have our support because your happiness is our happiness. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Your support means a lot to me, of course. <laughs> Thank you. We'll probably celebrate this uh, later in the day. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because <laughs> for some level of... Uh, family celebration. Father, it's your call. But I hope um, the woman in question will respect our mother as the first queen of Fukui. It would interest you to know that the one that I have chosen to come in here as the second wife to your father, the king, is an educated lady. Her name is Chinazo. She is an established banker. And you would agree with me that educated people are nice people. 
Eh? We are usually not always arrogant and irresponsible in their approach to life. So I'm trusting that she would be in her best behavior. I feel it's not a general rule, Father. There are people who are very educated and they are very arrogant. Well, I agree with you. In some cases, you have some people who suffer from what I call superiority complex. So they have chips on their shoulders. Uh, but not Chinazo. Chinazo is sweet and meek. You know, like her when she gets here. Uh, she's not arrogant at all. What if she disrespects our mother? And then I give you my word that I'll kick her out of this palace the moment she disrespects my queen. Can you say this on your four for queen, Father? Stop it at once, says Emma. Your father has made a statement as king, and that is final. Uh, sweetheart, that's okay. Uh, you must realize that our son has grown. Is uh, Emma? I'm <laughs> You're grown now. <laughs> and I'm happy. I like your confidence. Uh, but the statement you have made, I will respond to on a different day. Thank you, Father. So, how do we celebrate? Ah, call uh, Okabu. Tell him to set up the barbecue stand at the usual spot. Uh, and then you get in touch with the Kongwa. Tell him that um, I have asked that he brings freshly tapped palm wine to the palace. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my god. Finally, there's been Yes, I think they took that from you. They took it from you? I'm pretty reserved, you know. You're the, you're the groovy groovy one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come here, man. And I know that that was you. Thank you so much. Ah, and here we come. Ah. Ah, look at you. You are welcome to the home and the palace of Ezoke, <laughs> of Okwe Kingdom. Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh no. Your Majesty. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Ezoke of Okwe Kingdom. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Here we are, your new wife. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick introduction so that you're probably acquainted with the people you're going to be spending the rest of your lives with. Um, to my left, I have the Queen of Opeji. I like to call her my First Lady, for she will always be by my side as a Queen of Ogwe. Greetings, my Queen. You're welcome to the palace, my co-wife. <laughs> and over there is my kid sister. Her name is Chidera. She runs and manages the palm plantation. Greetings, my princess. And that's my very handsome son. His name is Ezeuma. He's the heir to this throne. Greetings, my prince. <laughs> You're welcome. My very beautiful daughter, Nikiruka. Greetings, my princess. You're welcome to the palace. We all love you. We're all happy that you are here. Uh, and to that end, we are going to celebrate. Is it one? Okay. Oh, yeah. Over to you, Walali. I'll make it happen. Come, come. Come sit by me. Come, sit, sit, sit. It's okay. Please sit. Oh, no. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, this is beautiful. <laughs> okay. Now that you're here. Anyway, you're here. Uh, I don't know what you girls think of, but me, I think the king will ultimately forget about Queen Isyumba. And that will make her start dealing with this new wife. Huh? <laughs> Why is he going to abandon her? 
Anutabo a chupu agadi. That proverb of Anutabo a chupu agadi, mm. which means on the arrival of a new wife, the husband is meant to throw out the old one. Doesn't stand. It doesn't hold water. As for me, after many years of marriage, mm -hmm. Queen Isioma is so much more beautiful than this new wife. Exactly my point. The only qualification that new woman has is that she's from Okwe. There is nothing special about her. Well, anyway, I'm not going into all that. All I know is that <laughs> shortly, <laughs> there's going to be a drama in this palace and I can't wait. <laughs> I want to pledge my loyalty to the Queen and the King's sister. I promise that I will not only take orders from the King, but from the both of you as well. I will never do anything that will go contrary to your instructions. I will love and respect the both of you and make sure that I always align with all of your decisions. When an impeccable urchin makes a promise, is that coming from your heart or you're just teasing us? I speak from my heart of hearts. My queen, I am not a pretender and that's why I will never say whatever I am not determined to do. It's okay. In due time, I'll show you around the palace so you get yourself acquainted with the workers. I will appreciate that, my queen. It is your right to know how things work around here and no one is going to deny you that. Thank you. You are indeed a virtuous woman. You are just an amazing woman. Thank you, my queen. I appreciate you accepting me to be here and I will never take it for granted. That's okay. Yumika, this is not the end of the world. This is the end of the world for me. How do I, how do I face the people? I understand, but there's nothing to worry about. At least the queen was able to secure you a job at her palm plantation. I want the king, not the job. Don't you get it? Are you for real? Yes. Wait a minute. But the job the queen secured for you at her palm plantation is supposed to pay you 150k, if I'm not mistaken. 479,000 naira. And you're not happy? The job is good, I know. The job is, is fantastic. But I just lose a lifetime opportunity. Do you know what I would have gained if the, if the king had married me? Yeah. I know you would have gained more. But you did not lose out completely. At least you were able to secure you a job. I want more. I want more. I want the king. I want to leave this shop. I know. If I were you, I would be grateful. I'll be grateful to the Queen and my Chi for making it possible. You don't understand me. I want the king. I understand. Please, just put yourself together. You'll be fine. There are that young lady is the opposite of what we thought she was. Meeting and interacting with her personally makes me know that she's a sweetheart. Oh, please. I saw what she did there some moments ago as a level of pretense. Why are you indifferent about this lady? Listen, it's time you move on. Drop whatever grudges it is you have against her and move on because she's the king's wife now. You know what? I wish I can. I can't! For how long are you going to be like this? Jeez. I bear no grudges against her. Accept her into the royal home with an open mind. Well, she has been accepted by everyone except me. Is mine going to make any difference at all? Yes. How? 
Let me tell you what's going to happen if you don't open up your mind and accept her. Both of you will start to have a rift. And before you know, you just may bring yourself down to the level of fighting with her. And that's not what a princess should do. Please, I'm going to do my best to avoid that in picking meetings. Let's leave it at that for now. Yes, who is there? My queen, food is ready. Okay, you can go. We'll be there shortly. Loosen up a bit. Let us go and eat. The food tastes really nice. I personally made sure that this meal was made just for you as a welcome to the palace of Ezoku. I'm glad you like it. Really? Yes. Wow, that's so nice of you, my queen. You're welcome. Oh, yes. huh? Why do I have a feeling that you cannot make something like this for your politics self? <coughs> <coughs> Why not? Of course I can. I see. I'm sure some people in this palace cannot wait to eat your meal. <clears throat> I mean, show us how good you are, not just on the street. <clears throat> Princess Odera, I would be delighted to have that opportunity. I am a daughter of the soil. And of course, I can prepare all of our local delicacies. Plus, cooking is my hobby. I see. You know, being the new wife, you have access to the kitchen. So tell us, when will you be making this meal? Hopefully tomorrow. Wow. Okay. Um, Chidera, slow down. Mm -hmm. huh? She only just joined the family. She's not a slave. She's a wife. Allow her breathe. And let her enjoy the comfort of living in the palace. We have people that we pay. Specialists, cooks, people who take care of matters here in the palace. We are doing an amazing job doing it. Yeah? I'm sure that when she finds the time and the strength, she would make one of the best of African cuisines. Right? <clears throat> no one is dragging her status with her. All we're saying is that she should show us how good she eats apart from being good in the streets. <clears throat> That's all. <clears throat> Oh, are you complaining? Not at all. I mean, why should I? By tomorrow, I'll prepare a meal for all of us. Wow, I can't wait. Finally, someone will show us the difference between the street and the kitchen. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, that settles it tomorrow. My right. darling, I cannot wait to taste your meals. Tomorrow. You will have that tomorrow, yes. my queen. Tomorrow. No, Tomorrow. She's ready. Where's your mom? Where's your Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, maidens of Okwe. How are you all doing? We're fine, 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 fine. Good. I called you all here so we can get to know ourselves better. Is that okay? Yes, 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 yes. Great. I want us to introduce ourselves. Hmm? I'll start. My name is Chinazo Mesoma Omomere. I'm a native of Okwe and a banker by profession. Honestly, we knew you before now, and we are proud of you. Thank you, my dear. So, can I get to know you people? My name is Nkiru Nwangpa. Of course, nobody can become a maid here if you're not from Okwe. 
So I'm from Okui, my queen. And I am Celine Onyokwiri. Like she said, I'm from Okui. My name is Njide Kangwai, a native of Okui. <coughs> and I'm Ndidi Nifendu, a woman of Okui. You all have such beautiful names <laughs> to match your beautiful faces. <laughs> all right, listen, I would like us all to work in harmony, unity, and love. All right? No bickering, no fighting, and no gossip. Is that understood? Well, well understood. understood right? Right? Splendid. That will be all for now. You may go back to your duty posts. Thank, Thank you, Michael. something you and Chinazo are not telling me. Something like what? Something like Nazo waking up overnight, out of the blues, and decided to marry the king. I'm sure you influenced that decision. Mirabel, I put it to you. You're solidly behind this. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you do. Wait, hold on. Come to think of it. Are you trying to say that a lady cannot change her mind and move on? Hi, ladies. Hi. I am so sorry. Oh, I've been in a serious meeting with my marketers. And then I had to go into another one after that crazy day. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. How far now? Queen Nasa. <laughs> How has royalty been treating you? I thought you were going to say you have something for me. <laughs> you know our queen. <laughs> Anyways. Ah, it's been cool. Very well, well, actually. <laughs> I can actually see that all over you. Nazo, I still can't believe you are now married to the king. And Lika, we have moved past that. Yes? I know. But this is the same man you vowed never to get married to. What changed? So would you rather I remain with the maker so you can keep toying with my emotions? You didn't say so. So what's your point? A lady has decided to move on with her life and you're here bombarding her with questions. I don't get it. My point is that you and Nazo kept me in the dark. I still can't believe you and Nazo took the decision of marrying the king without letting me know. <laughs> like, really? What? I, like, I don't understand what's going on. Are you saying that you want her to consult you on every step she takes in her life? I don't get it. Like, what, what's, what's really going on here? I didn't here? say so, Mirabel. So what are you saying? No, what are you what are you really saying? What's your point? This is Queen Nazo, we are her subjects. What are you saying? Queen Nazo. Yes. It is. Ah, come Please. on. Listen. It's okay, Queen Nazo. We are here, your subjects. It's okay. This is not the right place for this discussion, okay? Maybe later in the evening we'll find somewhere nice and quiet. And I'll take you my subjects out. <laughs> Have nice drinks as usual. Cheer up. To frown. <laughs> okay? And then we can talk about it. Hmm? And see who is back home already. Huh? Mm. I told you I'll work hard for today so I could come spend time with my darling husband. Yeah, so you said, but I was thinking you would be confronted by the usual <laughs> obstacles at work and might not be able to make it home early. You know. Really? Yes. Are you kidding me? But it gladdens my heart to see you. Listen, nothing on earth will ever be made for me in upon your mind as much. Nothing. You see, when you talk like this, you don't know what it does to my chest. <laughs> uh, come here. <laughs> I missed you. Me too. How was your day? Fine. I got you some food. Yes. I've been waiting. You did? Go ahead. Okay. All this for me? You like it? I love them. Oh my goodness. Thank you. 
Thank you. Welcome to royalty. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Are you getting final by the day? What's going on? <laughs> You're making me look final because you take excellent care of me. I'm just getting started. <sighs> Good afternoon, Queen Tina. Yes, how are you? Well, I'm fine. Um, I can see you bought a new ride for yourself. <laughs> you like the car? I love the car. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this is my dream car that I'm planning to buy once I start earning as a man. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, maybe you don't have to wait until you start earning as a man before you buy this car. <laughs> you know, one thing I like about you is sometimes you sound like a motivational speaker. <laughs> <laughs> and I like you for that. <laughs> you are funny. No, Izuma, you did not understand me. This car is yours. The last time I checked, you are not a comedian. <laughs> And you don't even look like, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, 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 EY comedian. <laughs> you can't stop cracking so, me up. <laughs> I stop playing around. <laughs> Isn't what well, I am not joking, okay? Tomorrow's your birthday, right? So I want to start celebrating you from today. Here. It's yours. Go on. Take it. It's yours. You are serious right now. I am serious. Go check it out. <laughs> you, you, like, the car is mine. Go on. What? Europe and the world at large are in dear need of red oil. And we need to do something about it. Have you discussed with your brother? Yes, I have. What did he say? He said I should try my best. So is it something that you can do on your own? I've been trying. I've been doing something about it all this while, but we don't have enough technology. I see. So what do you think should... Yes! is very uncultured and unmannered of you to butt in on us the way you just did. Apologies, mother. Why are you this happy? You won't believe what just happened. What happened? When Chinazo just got me instead of the Atka. Why? Mother, tomorrow is my birthday. And she surprised me with a car to mark my day. Ta-da! Readings to bad rubbish. Where does she get the funds from? She's a banker. A banker? How much do they pay her? What do you mean? Come off it, Queen. Come off it. Any banker that can afford such luxury is either doing an illegitimate business or a criminal. Oh, dare us. What? Stop it at once. Your brother would not be happy to hear you speak ill of his wife in that manner. You cannot call her a queen. What are you holding? Hello, Your Majesty. Yeah, curiosity oh my God. is dealing with you. What are you? And you will know in a minute. I'm not, I'm not great at... <laughs> okay, guess, this. guess. Don't do this to me now, please. Oh, no. What are you holding? Can you just try? Huh. 
Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> what? See this how you're making bad. me act like a lot of poor. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is a beautiful wristwatch. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this must have cost a fortune, you know. Ah, oh, honey, an 18.9 million naira wristwatch is not too much for my husband. What? <laughs> Why would you want to spend that? That's too much. Why would you want to spend that amount on, on a wristwatch? <sighs> it looks husband. good, no doubt, but it's expensive. You deserve the best, Your Majesty. My handsome, caring, darling husband deserves the best and the best he shall get. Come here. Honey, listen. Come here. <laughs> I'm just getting started, okay? You're getting started too. Yes, <laughs> I am. Just like you. <laughs> Tell you what. <clears throat> get ready. Because by month end, I am taking you and your handsome self on a trip. We're going on a vacation. What, you're taking me on a trip? Yes. That will be your first. <laughs> you're taking me on a vacation. It should be the other way around. Oh, come on. <laughs> I like to spoil your majesty too. You're spoiling me, darling. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. And I can't wait to embark on this trip. It will be splendid. You know what? I am going to have to order you new sets of bikinis. Because I just might have plans. Oh my goodness, you see what? And then you were, you, were, you, were, you were acting like you were so shocked that I accepted to marry you. You are so romantic. Oh my. Who would ever think that a king would be this romantic? Who would think that a king would be this mischievous? I think <laughs> I'm mischievous. <laughs> Thank you, baby. This is beautiful. I'm touched. I love you. I love you much more. <laughs> you make me happy, Chinazo. Thank you. Same here. I want to look at it again. <laughs> Why did you say that? Look at this one. Are you blind? Hmm? Can't you see the kind of car she bought for the prince? Can't you see it? That car is worth millions of Naira. I am telling you. In both guys, what does she even do for a living? Eh? <laughs> I heard she is a bank manager. <laughs> see, bank work can never give her such a huge amount of money. Yes! No, Ibuka is right. Are you aware she bought the king designer shoes to a short of 19.9 million euro? Eh? 19 point what? Nine For wristwatch. Oh, what kind oh, of a wristwatch is that now? Designer shoes to watch now. I don't believe that. No wristwatch like that. No expensive wristwatch like that. Ah ah. <laughs> Juma. See. You better wake up. Huh? Go and price some Rolex wristwatch. And you'll see most of them costing 190 million naira. For wristwatch? Of course, yeah. Hi. Hey. The question is, where did she get the money? She is spending. Oh! Where? If you ask me, now who I go ask? You see, there is something about Queen Chinazo that the king may not understand before getting her his wife. <laughs> Something like what? <laughs> See, I will not be able to answer that question now. But if I may the king, <laughs> I will start by asking questions. You guys are sounding well. You have a point there. You have a point there. None of it is a problem, my baby. Mommy's got you. Of course, you know, I will always want you to smile. 
Come in. Let me call you right back. Chinazo. How are you doing today? Very well, my queen. Uh, may I? Yes. <laughs> I have something to show you. Thank you. <laughs> my queen. This is a website. And with the deepest sense of humility, I want you to make a selection of bags and clothes that you need from here. Chinazo, I'll order you them for you. don't need to stress yourself for me. My queen, I am not stressing myself. It's just a sign of appreciation. What are you showing appreciation for? Isn't it obvious? My queen, from the very moment I set foot in this palace, you accepted me wholeheartedly. You made me feel so welcome, so comfortable and, and, and at home. I appreciate it so much and I just want to show you how much I do. You don't need to show appreciation. <laughs> I insist, my queen. Well, if you do, what is the website? I will impute it here. Yes. And take a look at it. Please do. <laughs> As you can see, it's a fashion website. I will take a look at it. Exactly. And my queen, please indulge me. Do not just make a choice. Make choices as many as you can. I mean, we have so many rooms in the palace to contain them. I will get them all for you because you deserve it. If you insist. I do. <laughs> okay, now that you have made me happy, I will leave you to it. I'll be waiting on your feedback. That's okay. Excuse me. <laughs> for me are from the best designer stores around the world. <laughs> I noticed. That's why I've been asking myself, where does she get the funds from? Dara, we have had this conversation before and we both know she's a banker. Bankers make a lot of money these days, you know? Illegitimately, you mean? Oh, please. Well, kudos to you. The bag and shoes are worth over 15 million naira. I know. I see. But then again, should we label her fraudulent when we do not have any evidence? Who is that? I don't know. I want to see Queen Chinazo. Queen Chinazo. Do you have any appointment with her? <laughs> Never mind, don't worry. I know you say you're enjoying it, but you're teasing me. Yeah, well, that could make me sleep. It's been a while. <laughs> it's very relaxing. It is. Yeah. Well, if the one, the only, the great Ezokwe of Okwe Kingdom Stop teasing me. says he loves it, then I'm the best. <laughs> sure, you're the best. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Hello, ma'am. I'm outside. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm coming. All right. All right. Hand these over to her, please. Thank you. So many mysteries in this palace. 
Indeed. <clears throat> My darling husband. Where are you going? Come here. <laughs> okay. Now, <clears throat> I will need my darling husband to come outside with me. Why? What is going on? <laughs> I will tell you when we're outside. <sighs> come on. Okay. You have to come. It's okay. Grab your phone. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, do I really need to come with you? Oh, you do. You do. Okay. You do. Okay. Come okay. On. Come okay. on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go. Wait, are you sure you don't need to offer you anything? Yeah? No, thank you. You're okay. Hey, listen. I have whole drinks, yeah? even kai kai. Yeah, I have a lot of kai kai. Oh, God, we are not here to eat or drink anything. We are here for something serious. It's okay. <laughs> Let me hear you. Good. Almost all our family members, far and near, have accused you of being behind your ordeals. And I keep telling you, keep saying it, I keep maintaining my stance that I am not responsible for anyone's ordeals. I have never done evil against anyone. I am completely innocent of all your accusations. Okay, then it's time for you to prove your innocence. No, oh, we'll bring it on. Anytime, any day, I am ready to appear wherever you want me to appear. Yeah? Good. I'm ready. We have resolved you will have to swear with the reverse staff of the kings of Okwe in order to vindicate yourself. Hmm. Mm. The revered staff of the king of Ogwe. Yes. It's an ancient sacred institution that has been there from generation to generation, from king to king. Is this a powerful tool used by the gods? And it has the potency to kill anyone, anyone who lies. On. You are holding the stuff and you lie on it. You are dead. Hmm. Yeah? Why are you educating us on the stuff of kings of Okwe? We know of the power and potency. That is the main reason we have come. So that you will swear on it and prove your innocence. No problem. <laughs> I am very sure with that. I have no issues with that, sir. Eh? Uh, it's okay. But, are you people also going to swear on the same offer? Why should yes. you? Yes. Uh, hold on, let me finish. Are people still going to swear on the same offer that all the accusations you leveled against me over the years and the ones you are still leveled against me now are correct? that you are right and I am guilty of everything you've said I did against you and against the family. Are you ready for it? Why should we? Why should we? All the prophets we visited in their various ministries accused you of being behind their ordeals. Oh, is that it? Is that where you people are coming from? Yes, <laughs> that is it. So, so, all the nonsensical stupidity that you've been bringing up from anywhere you like against me are based on very idiotic pronouncements by fake prophets. Fake prophets who are bent on destroying families. Is that it? No, no, excuse me. Is that, is, is, that, is, 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 is that it? Does what I say now encapsulate what you people have been working on all this way? Ichi hmm. Mbana, so eh? why are you twisting this? You think what? Now, can we ask you to swear by the Bible, knowing you don't go to church? 
you are a worshipper of idols. So we cannot ask you to swear by the Bible. This is why we are asking you to swear on the staff of kings of Okwe and prove yourself, vindicate yourself. Is there anything wrong with that? And why are you refusing to swear on the same of them? Chinasa, what is going on here? Why are you not saying anything? What is this? This, my dear husband, is a special gift from a happy wife to her husband. Go on, darling, check it out. You bought me an SUV. Your Majesty. <laughs> My husband. This is actually nothing compared to what's still on the way. Yes. I don't know what to say. It's it's okay. Come here. Come here. <clears throat> it's okay. You can you can leave us now. This is beautiful. I love it. I am glad that you love it. <laughs> this. She does all. <laughs> Where do you even get the funding for all of this that you do? Huh? Oh, my sweet husband. You see, what you may not know is. So many people who complain of hardship actually have so much money they do not spend. <laughs> you see, spending, my darling, is a thing of the mind. And as I have become a member of this household, I have decided to spend all that I have on this family. You blow my mind every day. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so beautiful. I am so glad that you love it. I love it. I always love to put a smile on your face as you have made me happy. Ha! Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to feel. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Ah! <laughs> Thank you so much, my, my husband. Thank you. I'm so glad you love it. I love it. <laughs> Just look at this. Defeating, right? Absolutely. <laughs> the way the discussion ended. It is good you swear to an oath to prove your innocence. Ah, see, so why are you going back on that now? Papa has already agreed to swear, so we don't have to go back to it again. You see, my biggest problem is that both of you don't seem to understand, to, to, to believe in me. Yeah? You seem to believe in all those stupid allegations they, 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 they bring against me <laughs> from <laughs> under the, the influence of their false prophets. Those useless idiots who keep telling them rubbish. Did they want to hear itching ears? But the truth is that we don't even know what to believe again. I'm telling you, we don't even know what to believe again. You can believe in me, my son. It's okay. Believe in me. Sure, we believe in you, Papa. But that will be after swearing to the staff and nothing happens to you. It's okay. The dead's already fixed. Huh? Here's the camera day. We'll all gather before the king. Uh, the whole process, will, everybody will witness it. Yeah? Papa, you know we love you, right? Yeah. And you know me, I love you and I'm proud of you as a son. Of course. We don't want to lose you. <laughs> See, you, 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 can, you can save yourself from an untimely death by apologizing. 
yes, you can apologize to everybody. I believe nobody in this village will kiss somebody that apologizes for doing anything wrong. Please. Only someone who does something wrong is required to apologize to clear his conscience. I've done nothing wrong. But let me tell you something. Very soon, the eyes will clear. Those buffoons who don't want to really seek out the source of their problems, the eyes will clear. It's the map, Scott. I'm off to France in a few days. What's happening in France? Shina is always taking me on a short vacation. When? We live in two days. And you're just telling me? Yeah, she mentioned it earlier, you know, but I thought she was joking. I didn't take her seriously until she told me again today, you know, just to to reaffirm that truly we'll be traveling. That means she took you unaware. Yeah. I mean, you can say that. Yes. You know, it is not a good thing that as a king, you let anybody, not even me, take you unaware. I know. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Of course. Will not. Because I will never let it happen. Okay. My darling wife. How long will you guys stay? We'll be gone for one month. What? One, one month? One month is too much. It's too much. Okay. So how long do you want me to, to be gone for? I, I would have said one week, but two weeks is fine by me. Okay. I'll try to talk to her. We'll, we'll find a way to cut our trip short. And I'll be back to you in two weeks. Is that okay? Better. Come on now, smile. What? I'll miss you. Stop. Come on now. But you... Let me have a piece of you before I travel. But you're traveling with her. But I'm still here with you. Hmm? Come on now. Stop. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. You're coming here. Stop. Thank you. Bye bye. How many? One. Buy this here now. No, no, no. What is this? Thank you. <laughs> Hassan. Hassan. I thought you were supposed to start uh, working on the pump plantation. <laughs> By Monday, I'll start. So, what happens to your show? My sister will take over the show. Wow. Okay. Why are you doing now? Baby, Uchena has refused to pick my calls. Why? Maybe he's trying to do me back. Is he aware of what happened? No. Okay. Go for him now. How do you mean I should go for me? Are you sure he will listen to me? I am sure he will listen to you. Anyways, it all depends on your approach to him. Oh. So, what's, what's the best approach to... I don't know, how do I get to him? You sounded like you don't know how we ladies do the thing. Or are you expecting a special tutorial? Yeah! <laughs> Bad girl! Bad girl! So, when are, you going to, when are you going to start? Monday, right? I said Monday. We will share your first salary now. Just put me in your budget. I never start work. Ah, I yeah, start work. Share your first salary. Your first salary too. Emeka. That is Emeka. That is Emeka. Oh my god. Nazo needs to see this. There's no need for that. 
Jasmine will not be bothered. She's married. She will not be bothered seeing a makeup with another woman. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Like, did I just see this? <laughs> Men will not cease to surprise me. Like, they really just move on after I break up. It's strange. Men. Men will not cease to be men. Emeka, that gender, fear them. Please, let's just don't bother yourself. It's, it's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. Let's go. Okay, so China so moved up and she just moved in. Emeka, don't confuse you. Pass that side. Oh, sorry, I thought this is my car. Oh, wait, this is. It's okay. This is, I can't believe this. This is China, so don't worry. I don't know how else to say this to you, mother, but I am happy with my decision. I have finally married a woman from Okwe. And now I feel like a complete king. And who told you you were never a complete king? I did not need anyone to tell me that I was not a complete king. I could see it for myself. Oh no, for so many years, prayed at a journey of Okwe in my stead because I married a woman that is not of Okwe. I knew there was a problem. And to fill up that lacuna, I had to marry a woman from Okwe. Mama, I have done that. The problem is solved and I am happy and I am complete. And to the best of my knowledge, it's been months you married this strange woman. Mother, please do not call her strange. She is a daughter of the soil. I married her in line with the marriage laws of Okwe. Really? You married her in order to qualify to pray at the Ajani of Okwe. How come you've not been able to pray at that Ajani yet? Because I have to wait for the need to pray at Ajani to present itself. That is how it works. You may elect to agree with me, but I have to tell you the truth. You shouldn't have married that woman in the first place. Why? Because she is a strange woman and she came with strange purpose. A purpose to make everyone happy. Have you not seen how everyone around the palace have become very happy since her arrival? Son, how did you get to this point? This is not how I raised you. What happened to you? I saw my mother. What did she say to you? She is not happy that I have not gone to a journey to pray for the people of Okwe. The same thing I was going to ask you earlier today, but I forgot. My love, you married your new bride just so you can pray at a journey. Ever since, have you even made an attempt to see if you can handle that? How can I pray at a journey when the opportunity has not presented itself yet? Praying at a journey is not a canal action. Time for it must come. Maybe after my trip to France, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe then I'll get a chance to pray. At our journey. You say so. Are you going to come back to sleep or you want to go to your new bride? Stop being silly. I didn't say that. You don't have to say.
And what are you doing here? Why haven't you been picking my calls? I ask you a question, Genica. What are you doing in my house? I'm here to see my man. Seriously? Is there a joke or what? I'll never joke with calling you my man. Or are you still angry with me? Did you just ask me that? I am not angry with you. I am very, very angry at you. But I said I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. Not until you explain to me why you had to treat me the way you did. Until then, your apology means nothing to me. Okay, I'll explain. Listen. And the thing is that I was looking for a job and it took my attention and everything. But thank God I, I finally got the job. What kind of job is that? Um, a job at the Royal Palm Plantation. Did you say you got the job? Yes. Wow! Well, I heard they pay a lot of money in that palm plantation. Yeah, you're right. My salary is almost 180,000 there. So huge, man. Well, I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Thank but that you. does not still you know, justify the reason why you had to treat me the way you did last time. I'm sorry now. Please. I'm sorry for you. It should not happen again. Are you serious? Are you very serious? I forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> Greetings, my people. Greetings, beautiful princess of our land. The maidens just announced your arrival and the queen asked me to attend to you. Yes, we want to see the king. Oh, unfortunately, the king traveled. Uh -uh. When? Two days ago. Right. So, when is he coming back? In a month's time. Oh, no. Okay, there's no problem. Uh, we have to come back in one month's time. I think we have to be on the way. Uh, sorry, is there any problem? Is it something I could, you know, solve? No, really, no. It's something that bothered on the special staff of Okwe Kings. And it's not something that you can handle. Okay, once it comes back, then you can return with your issue. So, Thank you very much. You have to be back. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay, how did it go? <clears throat> okay, we are back together and stronger. <laughs> this is good news. I am happy for you. Thank you, my friend. I'm so grateful to you because you made this possible. Thank you for your advice. I appreciate what are friends for? If not when issues like this arises. <laughs> you can say that again. So tell me, what do I offer you? Hey, today happens to be different. <laughs> You're even offering me something. My friend, talk. What do you want? Well, give me a cool bottle of malt. Abucha, just malt. Give me more than you know you want. Chilled malt. Chilled malt. I'll add this. Hey, shut down. Hey. Enjoy. Hey, shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. My friend, what happened? Good news. Now what for you? Have fun. Enjoy. Have fun. Enjoy. Let's the single. I'm bringing on Mott, my sister. Let me get another one for you. Why must you be now that the king will have to travel? I wonder. Are you sure Mbanaso has no hand in this? We can blame Mbanaso. For our audience, but count him out in this very way. Tony, if you ask me, one month is too long a time for the king to return. Exactly. So, is there no other way out? We have multiple ways. You see, swearing on the ancient of all is the most genuine way to find out if he has a hand in our problem or not. 
Because the Mbana saw that we all know can manipulate everything to work in his favor. But the ancient of all can never be manipulated. Never. So that means we have to wait and continue waiting till we go in tongues. That is the best thing we can do. As it is now, Mbana saw that we all know is ready to sweat to vindicate himself. Honestly, I am bothered. Why are you bothered? Why? I am bothered because what if at the end of the day he is proven innocent? <laughs> you look at Umba Nazar can never be innocent in this matter. He is the problem we have in our family. Yes. And remember, all the four prophets we visited mentioned him to us. All of them. Oh. What if the prophets are lying? What if they are not even seeing anything at all? Yeah. Um, hey, look, stop, stop, please. No, don't, don't say it again. Manasseh is not innocent. He killed my wife with her unborn baby. <coughs> I will make sure he dies. <coughs> um, please. <coughs> Let me get something for us to come. Uh, let me get something. Uh, something better. Just remain here. Let me get something for us to come and announce. Something you know that something is supposed to have been sitting around at the man. Oh, we are up on car. I'm bringing you something. Uh, uh, Moses. Uh, uh, you must swear on the ancient staff of, of the king. Stop making noise, Ekene. That is why we are here. I will swear. You will not like what I will do to you if you are found guilty of cheating on me. You will not like me. I can beat my chest and say, I've never cheated on you ever since we got married. Uh, can you also beat your chest and say the same thing? That's not why we're here. That's not why we're here. I know. I am here to swear on the offer that I've never cheated on you. But will you also swear? You're not, you're not just serious. You're serious. And what is going on here? Greetings, Greetings. I was hearing your voices from outside. Does she look like some charlatan zoo where they develop urchins? <clears throat> Have you lost it? Uh, uh, my princess, we are here to see the king. This woman here, this woman I got married to, she has come to something else. And if the king doesn't hand, handle it himself, I'll lose my mind. I'll lose my, my mind. You can lose your mind if you want. All I know is that I have not done anything wrong to you. Eh, uh, we shall see now. You know what? I think I'll just get the king. He needs to come and sort both of you. Right? Thank you, my princess. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brother. Brother. What's wrong with you? He's acting as if he's paralyzed. That's not possible. I was with my husband about an hour. And I am telling you, I am coming from his chamber. He is down. Are you are serious. Oh. Let's go. <clears throat> my goodness. What is wrong with him? I don't know. I came in and saw him like this. My love. What is wrong with you? swearing on the offer, I'm going to leave this marriage. Look at this one. And you think me, I will beg you. Me, beg you. You must be joking. I know you will not beg me because you have other women coming in. So I'm going to pave way for them to come and kill you. Oh, okay. That has been your prayer. You know what? I will not die. I will not even die before you. If I die by 12.30, 12.31, you follow me. Onyala. No sense. Lady King, confess. Um, uh, <coughs> <coughs> I am sorry the king cannot attend to you right now. Uh, what? He's not feeling too well. Uh, so when do we come back? By month ending. Just keep in touch with any of the guards. 
they'll let you know when to come back. I am sure she, he, she has started killing him the same way the new woman you marry will kill him, even more faster. Well, oh my God will punish you. God will punish you for you to think that I will die before you. See, I've told you, if I am dying by 12.30, you are following me. One minute later, you is Rome Nazo. They will dig your grave before me. Onyala. Dude, you, you see that house? It will be on fire. 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 Son, I don't know how you are going to handle this, but we are going to tell you exactly how it is. Plus, you have become a man. You need to know the truth. Mother, I already know what you want to talk about. Yes. My father is dead. And I'm not ready to be king. How did you get that information? And why do you not want to be king? Mother, what you should be talking about is to investigate on what killed my father before even thinking on how to crown me king. You know, seriously, I think he has a point. Yes, we need to investigate the king's death. I agree, but then again, where do we begin from? Is this how you intend to handle it? There's no other way. The throne cannot exist without a king. And that is why the gods have chosen another king. By the next Ikemaka day, a new king with the crowd. Why did everything collapse so quickly? Well, you can call it the end of an era, but the kingdom must move on. Thank God it was a dream. But what kind of dream is this? I don't like the look on your face. What's the problem? I don't know the last time you talked to your husband, my brother. What's with him? I had a terrible dream. I had a dream where he was paralyzed. The next thing he died. Isama refused to be crowned king. And Ono said the kingship has gone to another family. I don't understand what all that means. That's a that's a bad omen. It's a direct message. Call him on the phone and tell him to come back to Nigeria immediately. My love, you just have to come back to Nigeria. Listen, from the revelations and happenstances around, month end may just be too far. You know something I don't like about you? 
You don't know when one is playing and when one is serious. Listen, my love, you have a lot of things to take care of here. Your sister had a dream about you, and that dream wasn't fantastic. It must be presented to DBFA to dissect for you. You are a king, and you do not believe in dreams? What do we call that? My love, you have a lot of things to take care of in Nigeria. You just want to sit back in Paris? Do you remember telling me that you saw your mother in a dream? And in that dream, she told you that she wasn't happy with you? Good. Now, your sister has a similar dream. It is not a joke, my love. Oh, is it okay? Let us not argue over this. I will be expecting you, my love. Lord, what if I is? Please take it away. Hello, babe. Yeah, I'm already I'm already late for work. You know, you know it's my first day. I don't want to mess up things. See, just you know what will happen? I will call you once I get to the office and settle down, right? I'll call you, I'll call you, please. Alright, bye. Love you. Hey babe. How are you? What kind of game are you playing with me this morning? You are that one woman that means the entire world to me. Can you stop this? I'm already late for work and we're standing outside. It doesn't matter. I am not stopping you from going to work, okay? But I needed to do this before the sun rises this morning. Will you marry me? Be my wife? What? You know exactly what this means, okay? You know, recently something came up to separate us. But God allowed us to stay intact and that is why I want to seal it up now so that we'll be happy forever. It just, it just melted my heart. I love you so much. Is that, is that a yes? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Come here. Oh. You're welcome. Mm, I love you so much. You're all welcome to the palace. Thank you, Your Majesty. I was told that uh, you're all here while I was out of the country. Yes, uh, I'm back now. The trip was unavoidable. <laughs> uh, so you have my ears. Uh, let's talk. What brings you to the palace? Thanks for the audience, Your Majesty. Oh, that's fine. Uh, go ahead. Talk to me. This man seated here is evil. He has done everything with his evil powers to truncate progress in our family and even kill those who are not lucky enough. Ichemba Raso. These are very weighty allegations and it's coming from a family member. Is there an element of truth to what I have just heard? Uh, uh, you see, Your Majesty, <clears throat> ordinarily, I would not want to give honor to a lie with a reply. But uh, coming to your presence, uh, I have to say something. Uh, 
is a revered presence. You see, I do not know the prophet or seer that's feeding them with these stupid notions about me. I'm a very progressive minded person. I love to see my people progress, uh, see the light. Uh, but uh, in fact, I do not understand what they're talking about, Your Majesty. Don't listen to him, Your Majesty. Actually, we are here that he may prove his innocence by swearing on the ancient staff, the sacred of all of kings of Ope. Oh. <clears throat> I hope you know but any guilty person who swears by the secret staff of Okwe Kingdom dies. And sometimes it happens within 24 hours. Why would you want such fate to befall a member of your family? Your Majesty, please, let me swear. I am ready to swear. You see, I know that the, the, the offer, that ancient institution on its own does not kill an innocent person. It does not. My hands are clean. I want to swear, Your Majesty. I am ready for it. Please. He is playing a mind game with you, Your Majesty. Don't listen to him. You may have survived other charms. We are not going to survive this one. The ancient of all, sacred staff of kings of Okwe. Its power comes direct from the gods through a journey. You can't survive this. It's your time to die. Very well then. I'll be back. Afraid you will all have to go and return on a Kemaket day. Why, Your Majesty? That is when I have the permission to to use the offer. It's all right, Your Majesty. I will go and come back.
What is going on? What happened? The king has discovered that the Asian staff is missing. What? How? You know, he only makes use of it once in a while. And then all of a sudden something came up and, and he needed to use it. He went there and it wasn't there. I didn't know he was going to find out so fast. Me neither. Then you need to leave that place immediately. You, you need to leave the palace immediately. Huh? Are you kidding me? Of course. Th there is no other way. That's what I've decided to do. I have to go. Meanwhile, um, Mirabel, thank you for the advice you gave me. It's okay. We need to get you out of there ASAP. Yes. Hey, hey baby. How are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Should I ask them to make you tea or coffee? No, thank you. I'm fine. Or rum? Bring you rum. <laughs> it's too early. I know it's too early. <laughs> okay, so you said you wanted to see me. Yes. Alright, talk to me. <sighs> Nazar, I've thought about this and I have come to the conclusion that it's only right that you marry the king. <laughs> Maribel, uh, look, I don't, I don't know where this is coming from, but you know my stand on this. I can't do it. Apart from the flimsy excuse you've been given, what other reason is preventing you from marrying the king? I actually have a very good excuse, and you know that. I have a man in my life. His name is Emeka, and you know how much I love him. Sweetheart, I'm not talking about you leaving Emeka for the king. I know that you love Emeka very well. So what are you talking about? I'm talking about you enriching yourself, and then you walk away at the end. I don't understand. Okay, here it is. The Asian staff of the kings of Okwe, from what I have gathered, is worth over 3 million euros. It is a symbol of authority that is believed to be over a thousand years. Okay. <laughs> I do not know what business I have with this information. Maribel, we're talking about my love life here. You're talking to me about some ancient... what? What? Chinazo, Chinazo, stop thinking like a fool. You and I know that there's nowhere that love has put food on the table. I'm talking about the Asian staff. That's because I already have a standby buyer. So all you have to do is find your way into the palace, all in the name of marrying the king. Find the Asian staff, bring it to me. I will sell it. You and I will be three million euros richer. Do you get it? all the money I've been spending on them. They don't know that it's proceeds from the sale of their ancient stuff. That's the price the king has to pay for not halting when he was advised to. I guess. Ha! Don't marry Bell. I won't lie you. Honestly. That man is so sweet. So romantic. It's just. He's sweet. You know, sometimes I just wish I could have that forever. <laughs> Jonathan, do not be a fool. You and I know that you cannot have him. You went into the palace for a deal. Now that the deal is sealed, and they are beginning to search for the missing staff, it's high time you left there before they start tracing it to you. You got it? The man is sweet. Ooh, oh, yeah. Hey, hope I know Poco Buru, 
You will want, but you do not want to listen Because of pleasure, because of lust Now look at you, see where you are now Your world is changing, you don't know what to do Look at you, see where you are now Oh no, we could look at you What a good man Are you confirming to me that Onowu is responsible for the disappearance of of, of Ogwe? You've been stubborn. You've been strong ahead. You abandoned what's of wisdom. No matter who you are, no matter where you're from, you always need advice from people. Cause a tree can never make a forest. Nobody knows it all. A tree can never be a forest. Please listen to the counsel of the people. What did you know? Tell you concerning the investigation about the human mother. Your Majesty, as you have made up your mind to marry this lady, I feel you should take a step further by engaging the services of Dibiafa. Why do I need to engage the service of Dibiafa? For him to tell me that the beautiful woman I saw is no longer beautiful. about beauty. It is deeper than that. This woman is going to be married to the king. A situation that will expose her to lots and lots of royal dynamics. Edipiafa is needed to look into her spiritual being and tell us if her spirit Connect with your spirit in any way. Oh no, I'd like to put an end to this meeting because it's taking us. This is not why I invited you here. I'm getting married to a physical being and not her spirit. I invited you here because I need you to set machineries in motion because you're going to be the one to lead other men in council to her place for her bride price. That is what we should be talking about. Are you saying you are not even bothered with the fact that other known men have gone down with this lady? Why should I be bothered with details like that? Your Majesty, a woman who is to be married to the king is like a goddess, a sacred authority. If it can be proven, other men may have enjoyed her as a woman, then she's no longer good for the king. Oh no, well, this is not 1926. This is the 21st century. I would not reduce myself to that kind of reasoning and judgment. I don't live in the past. I'm here now. I have a family. I have a daughter who is of age, and I'm certain that she has a boyfriend. And I'm also certain that she might have been sexually involved with her boyfriend out of passion and a great desire to engage with her man. What am I going to do? Throw my daughter away? Tell me. Oh no. What a young lady does before she meets her husband stays in the past and not her husband's business. Huh? Whatever Chinazo has done with other men, I do not know about. I did not witness. I do not want to know. 
I am dealing with the woman of today. The one that I interface with. The one that has shown me so much love and so much care. And I want to make her my second wife. Although I believe that I have made my point. Get the other elders together. Let us forge ahead. Your Majesty, you are not talking? You are not saying something? What did he tell you about her? It's all Please, we are talking about the missing staff of kings of Ogwe. And not the woman that I married. I already married this woman. There is nothing we can do about it. As we speak. <sighs> hmm. On the hard bad Luciana, go banco. You have not just lost the offer. But you have succeeded in giving away royalty. Taking away royalty from your lineage. Taking away royalty from your lineage. Uh, Ms. Alice, there has to be something we can do. Please. Please. Please, tell me where the offer is and I need your help. What can we do? Who do we talk to? Who do we run to? Who do we call upon? How do we find the missing offer? There is absolutely nothing we can do about the offer. Nothing. For it is far away from you. It is not within your reach. Ms. Alosi, I know that you can see the offer. If you can just tell me where it is, I promise to bring it back. Like I told you earlier, it is out of your reach. Truly, I can see the offer. I can locate its whereabout. But definitely, it can never be within your reach. Yes, I say. Tell me. Tell me, and I promise you that I... Yes, I say, Biko. Since you can see the offer, I need you to understand that these are desperate times for me. Tell me, and I'll do everything within my power to bring the king's staff back to Okwe. I will do it. I think none about the Luciana or Bangkok. Unfortunately, as we speak, the offer has crossed the boundaries of this country. It is right in the hands of the white man now. How? The Majesty, that same people that told our forefathers that a traditional monument was fetish, devilish, demonic, satanic. The same people have finally succeeded in grabbing the great of the ancient and noble of all of the kings of Okwe Kingdom, which they couldn't do during their first invasion. They have finally 
got in hold of fear for. Yes, Halusi, you are confusing me. What are you talking? How is that, how is that even possible? How? You are the two midwives that tried in vain to deliver my wife of our unborn child that night. What are you doing in my house at this point in time? We decided to let our spirits travel before coming to tell you this. I hope all is well. Well, we are raised to know that some truths are better left unsaid. But we have still come to understand that if not said, if left unsaid rather, we lead people to making terrible mistakes. Mistakes that would have been avoided if the truth were spoken. See, both of you are scaring me. You know that I'm man enough to take any truth, no matter how hard it may be. So, what is it? We are aware you have a wrong impression about your wife's demise. And that is why we are here. Uh, see, um, Mbuchi and Olako. I already know who killed my wife, an unborn child. And I will do anything within my power to make sure that he pays. Yes, he must pay. Chukund, that's a very wrong impression. Exactly what my colleague just spoke about now. Now listen, nobody, nobody killed your wife. Your wife died out of stubbornness and infidelity. What? Yes. At first, when she found it difficult to deliver of her child, we decided to ask her some questions mm -hmm. if there was any secret hidden. But she refused. She would have lived mm -hmm. if she had spoken the truth that night on time. So, what did she tell you? Uh, well, yeah, man, I'm go. And at this point, we just have to open up. She said, You're not the father of your child. What? Yes. Uh, what? Of Mano, if you're your name. You and I know in Okwe Kingdom, any woman whose marital rights we are completely performed and is found in adultery, we either die or go through the cleansing ritual. But in your wife's case, she was too stubborn to speak on time. That is why we were not able to do anything. It's not even enough that another man saw her nakedness. He enjoyed the woman in her and even went as far as getting her pregnant. Yes. Eh? She would have lived. I don't know woman if she had opened up. On time. Water. Yes. But she refused to open up. She was so stubborn. That was why she, she died and the baby in her womb died also. Died also. Eh? Onye meraro, ikane ebuchi. It's wrong. Don't blame anybody. Omo eburu unye gibiko. Listening to all these fake prophets and all they say is not right. My advice to you, sir, is you go to your brother, mm -hmm. seek for his mm -hmm. forgiveness, apologize to him. In fact, do everything possible to see that he forgives you. I warned you. I warned you about getting married to this street girl, but you never listened to me. Now look at where you are. Did the chief priest say there's nothing you can do about it? He said that your offer is gone and there is nothing we can do about it. Father handed over this kingdom to you in peace. And here you are really it in peace. Tell me, how do you want to become a king without the offer? You don't understand it, Odera. The so-called daughter of the soil has terminated royal thief from here. Without the ancient staff of the kings of Okwe, my husband is no longer the king. What? Ikena, is that true? That is how it is. I just don't know how all of this happened so fast. I don't know. I am disappointed in you. Look at you. You got married to the daughter of the soil so you can pray to Ajani. Now tell me, have you ever prayed to this Ajani for once? You have disappointed this family, Ikena. 
And I will never forgive you. Odera, it hasn't gotten to the point where you address my husband, your brother, the king, by his name. He is still... Oh, please. He is a king and nothing else. Oh. That's enough. That is enough. Odera, that's enough. Enough of your nonsense. I made a mistake. Quite all right, I get it. But I am going to rectify this, okay? How are you going to rectify it? You got married to the daughter of the soil so you can pray to Ajani. Now tell me, have you ever prayed to this Ajani for once? I was to say this to you, mother, but I am happy with my decision. I have finally married a woman from Okwe. And now I feel like a complete king. And who told you you were never a complete king? I did not need anyone to tell me that I was not a complete king. I could see it for myself. Who oh no, for so many years, prayed at Ajani of Okwe in my stead because I married a woman that is not of Okwe. I knew there was a problem. And to fill up that lacuna, I had to marry a woman from Okwe. Mama, I have done that. The problem is solved and I am happy and I am complete. To the best of my knowledge, it's been months you married this strange woman. Mother, please do not call her strange. She is a daughter of the soil. I married her in line with the marriage laws of Okwe. Really? Yes. You married her in order to qualify to pray at the Ajani of Okwe. How come you've not been able to pray at that Ajani yet? Because I have to wait for the need to pray at Ajani to present itself. That is how it works. You may elect to agree with me, but I have to tell you the truth. You shouldn't have married that woman in the first place. Why? Because she is a strange woman and she came with strange purpose. Why? Why was I blind to all of this? My husband, this is not the end of the road for us. That's enough. <sighs> You will want, but you do not want to listen Because of pleasure, because of lust Now look at you, see where you are now Your world is changing, you don't know what to do Look at you, see where you have come to you must account for all your decisions. You've been stubborn. You've she been. Has a, how did you? How did you find me? What are you doing here? So you really were hiding from me? Uh, you really thought you could hide from me? You know you can't. I've been calling you. You never picked up any of my calls. You moved to another town. To hide from me? Why on earth would you do that to me? Uh, so oh, sorry. Chinazo. And the circumstance, what were you expecting me to do? You ended everything between us. No. My love, things can never end between us. Don't you get it? Huh? 
You are the love of my life. Remember forever is the promise we made to each other. I understand you do drugs now. What? How would you even think that of me? You know me, I'll never do a thing like that. Baby, I'm not doing any drugs, okay? Look, I have made enough money for the two of us to last us a lifetime. Come on, baby. Let's arrange our travel documents, okay? Let's let's leave this country. Let's go somewhere else and, and, and live a happy life together. I can take care of all of it. Chinazo, I don't think I need all that anymore. I've moved on. Like you said, that we should move on. I, I understand you're married to the, the king of Okwe, Okwe Kingdom. You see, I couldn't bear that. I had to leave the town to somewhere else where I could settle and start a new life. So please, let me be. Nothing can ever happen between us again. My love, how else do you want me to tell you I'm sorry? How, how else? Why would you say you don't need anything from me? I have all it takes to make us happy now. Um, I'm lodged at Marius Hotel, okay? Can you meet me there this evening? I have a lot for you. I'm sorry, Chinazo. I am married now. Honey. See why I said nothing can ever happen between us again? That's my wife. As you can see, she's heavy. My ex-girlfriend. My wife. I'm sorry, but this is just what it is, okay? Take good care of yourself. And I wish you well. I wish you well. Excuse me. Counting on your understanding at a time like this. If everyone else misunderstands me, you cannot misunderstand me. I accept that this is a mistake on my part. But I am working on it. I am going to bring back the offer of our people. Your Majesty. She sold that stuff to some merchants who paid her 30 million euros. The money she has been spending on the royal family actually came from that stuff. Oh no, listen, I know all of that. That is old news. I am telling you that I will bring back the staff of the people of Ogwe. I will do it! Your Majesty, only a fool thinks he can take custody of that staff. She stole the stuff, sold it, and it was taken to Europe, where it has been kept in a place where they want to start researching on how to use the oh power. No, oh, oh no, oh no, oh. you are. Understand what I am saying. I need your trust. I need you to understand that I am going to bring back the stuff. I will bring your phone back to Okwe. Don't you understand? You are not allowing me to finish what I'm saying. As we speak, the staff is with the chief priest. How? The chief priest called it back and it came back to him. Good news. 
Sorry, Your Majesty. No good news for you. You have been found wanting as a custodian of that staff. A new king will emerge in Okwe Kingdom and he will become the custodian of that staff. Hey! Emeka, can you just sleep? Sunshine, I need you. It's not me you need. You need Jesus in your life. Jesus. Why are you still angry with me? I am not angry at you. Okay? But I will never let you touch me again. Ever. Why? Because my heart no longer belongs to you. That means your heart belongs to another man? But I know you can't leave me for another man. Emeka said let me be... You know what? Hmm. I can see that you want to be alone tonight in this bedroom. So I'll leave for you. Sunshine. Yeah, let me leave you. What will I do to make her understand I love her? I'm a changed man. Why is she treating me like this? Now I have all the money, but I don't have peace of mind. Jesus. Who's there? Room service. What do you want? You disable your phone and you cannot reach it from the front office. You have a password. A parcel. A parcel? Where could it be from? All right, come in. Who are you and what do you want from me? You are under arrest for stealing and selling the staff of Kings of Ogwe. Can I say something? You have the right to remain silent. For anything you say or do may be used against you in the court of law. You now, are under arrest. Now move it. Because of pleasure, because of lust. Now look at you, see where you are now. Your world is changing, you don't know what to do. Look at you, see where you have come to. What a wadi wagi manebuna kebu. Chance. 
Please listen to the counsel of the people. 